So fanking is the art of reappropriating a product's name by holding it down near your genitals and taking a photo of it. And a true, a true fank, the most artful fank, the classiest fank, uh, should be a fank that's actually done in public. So of course it's funny to find some products at home and go, ha ha, they're pretty funny, but to actually do it in a supermarket is the best. So next time you're down at the shops, look at this, they're doing some push-ups here. This man. is Muscle Beach. It is. Uh, next time you're down at the supermarket or the hardware store, or in fact any shop, have a look on the shelves and have a look at a product uh, whose name could be completely changed once you take a photo of it near your groin. Like this one. And this one. And my favourite. This one. So there it is. Now you can, you can upload your own to the thanking website, which is facebook.com forward slash Thanking daily. Thanking daily. Is that it? Disclaimer, you are supposed to thank with your pants on. Yes, that's right. You don't we, need to don't, remove your don't pants. Don't send us weird nude stuff because we just don't like it. That you are, you're allowed to thumb it up. And by thumbing it up, I mean you can recontextualize using your thumb just a little bit to uh, change your word. Because sometimes there's some great words buried. Oh, that's right. Like some marketing genius here has, has written that this is unbeatable. But we've actually. <laughs> but some just, thanking uh, genius has thumbed it. So it says it's, that now it, it's beatable. That's right. Which is a fact. Uh, what, what is that, Martin? What are we looking at? Is that a sports drink of some kind? It. it also says on it, which I only noticed now, it says YOLO, squeeze more in. <laughs> it actually says squeeze more in on it. Drink me any time to keep a healthy spring in your step. Cold press and beatable. The goodness of beetroot. There you go. All right, so that it's there, Martin, kind of beetroot drink. is the thank of the week. Thanking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name by taking a photo of it near your crotch. Uh, best points are given for thanks that are taken in a public place. Mm -hmm. Public thanking. Yep. Um, shopping shopping centres are a great source of thanking. It's a way to really turn your what otherwise relatively boring grocery shopping into a kind of an artistic extravaganza. And hardware stores. Yes. Hardware stores are pretty epic. They are also good. Uh, so anyway, we've got three thanks for you this week. And here they are. Thank of the week. It's thanks of the week, plural, isn't it? Anyway, here we go. Thanks of the week. Alright, there it is. That is Fank of the Week. Of course, fanking is the art form of reappropriating a product's name by taking a photo of it down near your genitals. And this week we've had some amazing entries put in on the Fanking Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Fanking Daily. First up, Martin, the dry sack. Just a good old, that's just a good classic fank, the dry sack. Next up, Oh, you know what's great about thanking? You get to see, see all these mad products. From all over the world. Yeah. Because, I mean, you can go through a whole supermarket here and eventually run out of stock. That's right. Um, but not if you've got a hamburger helper. Double beef. Stroganoff? No, the Stroganoff. <laughs> no, no, no. So, <laughs> so, so David, the guy that sent this in, said hamburger helper. Stroganoff or stroke one off? And lastly, Martin, this one here has come in. Oh, classic. Perfect Brilliant. for sharing. Cheesy balls. Amazing. Well done. Of course, share your thank of the week. So thanking is the delightful art of reappropriating and changing the name of a product by taking a photo of it down near your crotch and therefore recontextualizing what it means to turn it into something juvenile, ridiculous and something that your parents are probably not that happy about. <laughs> sure, why not? Hi, Dad. Anyway, so this is Thank of the week. Now we have had thanks coming from all over the world, haven't we, Mum? Yeah. Oh, and most it's... people have kept their pants on. Yeah, which is fantastic because that is the idea. I mean, I'm not sure how Facebook will feel about the nudity factor, so maybe maybe save nudity for like yeah. whatever other social media that you. Oh, dude, you're, you're still into. on a truck. You're, you're the boss. Get in that. Um, so these are the thanks of the week. Uh, thanks have been coming in from all over the world. They are going up on a uh, Facebook banking page, which is facebook.com forward slash banking daily. Uh, thank number one. I don't actually know what that product is. And we got this one here from some country. Um, yeah, yeah, dude, yes, you're getting away. Um, and our last thank and our favorite of the week. Congratulations if this is your big thanking. Um, debut. 
our debut and, uh, and our favourite fank of the week. Our first fank of the week, is, I think this one is particularly clever and, and pertinent and also possibly like anatomically interesting. Yes. Um, here it is, Martin. The perky nana. Now, Martin, what is a perky I nana? I think it's actually supposed to be a perky nana. And I, I don't know. Perky nana? I think it's supposed to be perky nana because I have a feeling that it's banana based. Ah. Oh. So it's a na it's a it's a perky nana. I don't know why it's perky or what makes it perky. Um, but if it is a perky nana, I'm a perky I'm nana. A bit frightened. Wow, and... amazing. Martin, next up we're just gonna get straight into it. Butt finger. There it is. I mean that's just, that's clever. And what they've done is they've utilized their finger, which is allowed it as is per allowed. the official guidelines it of thinking, allowed. which my you man here and I invented. You can't really double double like start covering up little letters. It's... You could try, I'd like to see it. No one's done a double-handed fank yet. In fact, have they? Have no one. You know why? I know why. why. Oh, because then you can't take a photo, photo of it. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. I was, I was going to say maybe you can do auto or whatever. Now, in case you're new to this thing, now what is thanking? Thanking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name by holding it down near your crotch and taking a photo of it. It is hours of fun, days, weeks. It, it's thousands of years worth of fun. Next time you're at the hardware shop or down at your supermarket, grab a product, hold it down near your crotch and have a look at how funny it becomes. Take a photo of it and put it up on our Thanking Facebook page, which is right here. And our favorite ones, we will share on the show. Now, this one, now, blue balls. What about a wrinkle ball, Martin? A blue wrinkle ball. Now, Martin, what is a wrinkle ball? I have no idea. No? Well, it, it might be something to do with a not-so-perky nana. Okay. <laughs> Assuming um, it is a nana and not a nana. Um, I, I legitimately don't know what a wrinkle ball does, um, but th there it is. If any of you know what a wrinkle Dude, ball is... Look at my then... focus in drift mode. This is what can happen if you've got a focus in drift mode. Okay. Look. All right, there it is. If anyone knows what a wrinkle ball is, please let us know. The thinking's going, going off. There's the so thinking page fans. has over 2,000 likes on it. Yeah. <laughs> And it was stuck at 800 for years. For years, because yeah. we, have, we have been doing the thanking for years. Of course, thanking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name by taking a photo of it down near your crotch. And there have been thanks flowing in thick, strong and creamy from all over the world. Um, so this week, uh, Martin, we've got four this week. Okay. I'd like to start with this. Now, I don't know what jerk seasoning is, but it looks delicious. Yeah. Doesn't it? Well, now, what is jerk seasoning? Is jerk a thing like I'm um, smash you this time, man? Is jerk a thing like um, Cajun? Well, this one here says it's Jamaican jerk seasoning. Oh, there you go. Um, and um, <laughs> it, that's when you come into the kitchen and you say to someone, "What a Jamaican? What oh, Jamaican? Okay. What Jamaican?" And right. then you say, "I'm that's making another something one of those. with Let's pretend with that never jerk happened seasoning." Right. And you're like, "That sounds good." All right, so Martin, that's the jerk season. I think we need to get some on the show, and we need to find out if anybody out there has eaten jerk seasoning before. Oh, I'm going to yock this milk up any moment. <laughs> sounds terrible. Martin, who doesn't like a proper job? There's no use doing a half job. You've got to think with your head, don't you? Yes. Uh, when you're on the job. Yep. And uh, <laughs> this one, I'm going for the blue side. Wrong goal, damn it. Man. Um, so... Oh! oh save, sorry. Anyway, that's a proper job. That's powerfully hopped, Cornish... I don't even know what that is, but there it is, the, the proper job. Thank you for whoever sent that in. Martin, there's a bit of a Darwinian thing, this one. Natural monkey nuts. Now, I don't know what the difference is between a normal nut and a monkey nut. Me neither. Um, but I'd also like to try out. Oh, you uh, meant Darwin because of the whole monkey thing. Well, whether we came from monkeys, do we have monkey nuts or do we have human nuts? That Both. are made in the image of somebody else. Both? Okay, well that's, that's just blowing my monkey nuts right open. Uh, Martin, and the last one for the week, which is definitely something that I would like to eat. I'm serious, like, I want to get my mouth all over these delicious beefy balls. Oh, that, that's well just, done. That's just straight up. That's so just, whoever that's, said that in uh, Because balls. it involves meat, it just gets bonus <laughs> It's points. meat and balls. So that's, I mean, there's not meant to be a winner, is there, Martin? But not that's really, the winner this week. Just the good old beefy out. balls. Never now, did it. Now, this week, Martin, straight up, I mean, look, look at this one. Here's just... No stuffing around, let's just get into it. Nice stick. Oh, nice stick. That's good, isn't it? That is a nice good stick. Good girth on that. Well done. Good length. Yep. Um, next up, Martin, we've got dick sauce. That's probably one of my favourite ones in um, the world. That's, you so that's, that's, that's Dick Smith's foods. I like Dick Smith's foods. Because you were saying you eat dick for breakfast, don't you? I eat you? dick for breakfast because Dick Smith's bush foods for breakfast because he, um, 
he donates all the profits to charity. Dick Smith is awesome. That's pretty cool. That's really. He's worth a Google. Like he's worth investigating. He's had an he's, interesting life. He's had a very interesting life. He an has. awesome dude. But um, but yeah, he he makes the products, and as far as I know, completely not for profit. He makes sauces, cereals, all sorts of things. Yeah. Um, I need to eat more of it, but Marty eats dick for breakfast every day. Yeah, Dick Smith Bush Foods for breakfast. Martin daily. Poppycock. There it is. Oh, well Martin, done. what is Poppycock? So Poppycock. I've never heard of it before. There's a lot of it there. Look at that. There's a whole pallet of Poppycock so, there. So Poppycock is flavoured popcorn, like awesome. They put caramel on it and, and like honey stuff and sugar. Is that an American pop- thing? I Looks think so, because like I saw thing. it at a Costco and I think I saw it in America as well. I've never Indeed. seen that before. That will change your life. Really? Yeah, yeah. That, I, Shall I, we get I, some? I left a jar of that like at a place I was living and then a week later I came back because we were away. I think we were in Japan and when I got back it was completely empty and it was a kilo. Which oh means really? All the people I was living with at the time, they found they it just and they pumped just, a they kilo just of destroyed pop. it. Wow. Because it's really like Norish, like once you start, once you pop you can't know that's someone Did else. Did you say there. Norish? Yeah. Like, nor- I thought the word was Sorry, Norish. Sorry, Norish it is, yeah. I said oh is it? But you gnaw, you gnaw, you gnaw on it. Yes, exactly. You gnaw on the Norishness. Um, Poppycock, I'm going to try and get some of that on the show, Martin. Awesome. Here we go. Terrible photo. Congratulations on your framing. But Martin, the hidden pipe. That pretty much tells you what it is. Well done on that one. I wonder what that is. That's that's coffee hidden pipe. Sounds. I wouldn't. I don't think I would enjoy that. Is all I'm going to say. Hidden pipe coffee. I don't think I would enjoy the liquid out of that. Hey, I did pipe. something. Congratulations, Martin. I survived it. You survived. Well done. And the last fank of the week, of course. Uh, mainly just because it's a funny word. Here it is. Chub mackerel. Now, oh, I don't know awesome. what that is, but that's also <laughs> something that I don't want to eat. Martin, what, mackerel is normally something that I associate with being in a can or a jar. I don't associate it actually swimming in the it's ocean. It's bumblebee brand. Is it? Yeah. And it, I can see some some writing on there. Oh, hang on. What? It's bumblebee brand. I'm trying to tell what country that's from. I reckon that's from... Premium Select Chub Mackerel. Chub Mackerel. You reckon Canada or something? Maybe Chub Mackerel's a thing, just like freshwater marlin. Really? Yeah, I reckon right. it might well, that's be. probably worth trying as well. Yeah. Of course, thinking is the delightful art of reappropriating a product's name or brand name by holding it down near your groin and taking a photo of it, particularly and specially in a public place. Um, boys or girls, anyone is welcome to do it. Uh, and we have been getting thanks coming in from all over the week. Uh, all over the world, all week, this all week. over the world. Here we go. First up, Martin, let's just straight up. Let's not get too creative and crazy. Just straight up. There it is. Yes! There it is. Well done. Why like haven't the... I been able to find a pump and spray? I don't know, Martin. Oh, they're they're really handy everywhere, for so many different life. things. They're like cleaning cars, putting on tin, pesticides. Uh, next up, Martin, of course, we have. <laughs> <laughs> Imported as well. That's really good. Martin, as you're doing that, I'm jumping to the next rank of the week. Here we go, look at that. I mean, it's fast shining, Martin. How? And what does it do? And why did they call their product? No, I know what this is. It's for cock valves. No, dude, why did they make it? Cock pit? As in, like, because it says down here, ideal for rubber. Why would you use it? Why wouldn't you just call it interior? That's a good use, by the way, of covering certain parts um, of the fank. Oh my God, Martin. Martin. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It'll hit you in a second. The guy's got one. He's got three arms! <gasps> How did he take that How photo? How did you take that photo? Did someone How else, did he do it? Did someone else do it? No, because it's from his perspective. There's his feet down there, man. How did you take a photo yourself that has both of your hands in the photo at the same time? He's three hands. Um, he's three-handed. My Rexy's doing so much better than that, Eva. Oh, no, no. I don't even into a... Into, a, <laughs> into the cactus. Uh, and lastly, Martin, let's just hit up with the big D. Freedom! <laughs> the big D. Um, and uh, get them out is their tagline. Now, I don't know what they are, but I'd like to have given them a much. Yes. Uh, personally. yes. Freedom. So, Freedom! Um, there, there it is. Um, and... Uh, that is Fank of the Week, of course. You can upload us your own thanking, uh, thanking daily. Uh, Martin, let's just kick things straight up. Yeah. Let's just, let's just get to it with the snatch block. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that when your mate gets in the way at the pub? Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> 20,000 LB load tested. Um, anyway, that's a snatch block. Because I thought there was another term called a cock block. And that's a snatch block. I don't quite know what they mean. Oh, but maybe you know it's the op- opposing gender. That's what I'm saying. Oh. I don't quite get it. Anyway, uh, let, let's just leave it there. No, great. Mun, um, the Furminator. Let's just get there. Now, what is the Furminator? Now, this is, um, it says, soap and glory uh, firming and toning formula. There it is, the Furminator. Now, this dude here, he, he works with his hands a bit. Look, look how he's got a very dirty fingernail, man. 
I don't know what he's been doing, but well done on on doing what you do. Morning burst. Let's just get oh, yes. up, facial cleanser. Let's get, That's get amazing. the job done, like straight up. Now, what's awesome? This guy's banking with mates, and I'd say there's at least three mates there because there, there's there's him with his with oh, his yeah. pants on, some other dude with a fawn-coloured pant, another dude with a brown pant, or maybe that's just two different. Oh, no, he's got leg legs. tats. Oh, is that? Oh, it's a leg. Is that what it is? He's got oh, leg tats, man. Hairy leg. I thought it was a pant. It was so hairy. Anyway, morning burst. Um, the inflatable dick. Now that's a very, <laughs> that is a great use of using your thumb to finger one of the letters to make it look like it's something else, which is allowable. It is allowable. According to the official thanking rules that we developed ourselves. And Martin, last but definitely not least, let's, um, it could be one of the best thanks oh, ever. Oh, that's a big call. We've um, got a lot of good thanks. Um, it's a second hand product. Uh, it's oh, not does a that new count? item. Are you allowed uh, to do that? I think so, because the brand name is still visible. Right. And let's just go all out. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, possibly one of the best thanks I've ever seen. King Dick. King Dick. That's Dude. Cool. Do you remember? Do you remember what the spanner in Lendis Ride said when you went underground? What did it say? It said King Dick. Really? Do you remember the guy who lived underground? Yes. King Dick. King Dick is a King brand. King Dick. It's a brand and he found another one. Does King Dick still exist? If you do, please send us an email. And a spanner. To, and a spanner. What's our email address, Mark? Info at the unicorn circuit. Is it com. the unicorn circuit? It is. If you are from King Dick, please send us an email. We would like to hear from you. We'd like to feature one of your spanners on the show. Um, that's amazing. That there is thanking. You can send in your own thanking photos. Of course, thanking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product by taking a photo of it down near your groin. Uh, we have been getting thanks coming in from all over the world and each week we share our favorites. But you of course can share them with us on our Facebook page, which is facewalls.com forward slash thanking daily. Mm -hmm. um, and Mun, let's just get straight into it. Here we go, boom. There it is. It's a uh, herbal, herbal flavored cold. Cold cock. Yes. I don't know what that is, but if anybody knows what it is, please share that with us. Well played. Uh, well played. Jumping straight into the next one. Mate, the sticky pickle. That's brilliant. Like, that, that's great. You know what? Because it's, it's, it's clever. Um, and I'd also like to um, uh, pay respect to how healthy this gentleman's fingernails look. Oh yeah. Is it creatine that's in them? Cre creatine? Whatever's like in your hair and teeth and nails? It's a very healthy, shiny fingernail. Um, the sticky pickle. <laughs> well done. This is clever and I knew you would like it. Martin, tell us what's going on here because we've seen people covering words but yeah. we haven't seen letters yet. So that's, tell us about this little sub rule. That's clever. So the sub rule is you are allowed to slightly adjust the fank using your hand but you can't be You like, can finger the fank. You can't be doing these ones to try and, you know, completely erase things. Although this, this is allowed. That's very clever. This is allowed because he's just using the skinny part of his finger to, to cover the U to re, to turn that U into an yeah. And he's, the, the he's results He's fingered are marvelous, really. the duck with the dick, which is pretty which clever. created the dick. It's, it's amazing. Yes, the duck, very the clever. Duck well done. The, well yeah. done to you. That, that's, that's fantastic. Martin, next up, super extra large nuts, straight up. Like, look at that. That's clever. Um, another one that I'm a little bit shocked by though, Two hands are in the photo. Uh, how did, did they take it? I can see three hands. Is that a third hand? No, that's hand? A, is that a thumb? That's a, that, I hope that's a thumb. That's a thumb. Um, there you go. Super extra large nuts. Martin, and finishing up for the week. Well done. I'm, look, I'm that's gonna, Costco, by the way. Again, Costco uh, delivered. One of the... One of... I'm just... I know I say it every week. It's the best we've ever had. Uh, no, no. It's, I'm not there yet. Sorry. This is a straight up cock flavour soup. <laughs> Absolutely delicious, apparently. Um, I've never tasted it. Wherever all these cock lines are coming from, cock is slightly different to what it is here. I think people know. Like, it's all quite obviously um, a chicken. But um, cock flavoured soup. But, I mean, I don't think that would sell here. What Unless is that, is that in Australia? I don't know. I, I what do you it. stir it with? Because <laughs> you can save yourself having to go to the shops. Just get some hot water. No, don't do yeah. that. Oh, wow. Don't do that. Wow. Wow. Um, all right, good. Martin, here it is. Now, let me just say, this is, I think, one of the best banks I've ever seen because I just lulled so hard. It's a very clever use of the fingering technique. Here it is. Grandma's asses. <laughs> oh, well. What did that say? Well done. Is that molasses? Well done. I think it's grandma's molasses, which would have worked already. <laughs> but instead, there it is. Grandma's asses. 
They are the thanks of the week. You can submit your that own thanks. Of, that, that is one of the best ones I've ever I think it's great because it's just it's straight <laughs> up. <laughs> well done. Well done. Of course, thanking is the delightful and artistic creation where you hold a product down near your groin and take a photo of it, therefore recontextualizing the object's name, title, or description. Meaning. And meaning. Um, the thanking page has been going off, by the way. We've been getting thanked at from all over the world. And let's just kick straight into it with a bit of handcrafted wood. So I'm assuming, Martin, that this is some kind of uh, beer. Okay. Uh, that's that's some handcrafted wood right there. Awesome. There's a mosquito nibbling my ear. Well, something, that's, something big. That's unfortunate. It sounded noisy. It sounded like a, a trumpet. Um, next up, Martin, let's just cut straight to this. This is French's barbecue wing. Oh, wow. That's great, isn't That's a good it? use of double thumbing. I'm always confused how people take the photos, but good on them. How do you take the photo when you've got both hands on the wang? I have no idea. I've wondered for a while. Martin, the big D. There it is, the tough action. Oh, there you go. There it is. Just just getting getting the job done. Here, oh, wow. Oh, that's... Um, okay. That's, that's... I've not seen that before. Oh, wow. What did it say before? I have no idea. Lad cream. <laughs> lads are a thing, especially if you're from the UK, right? Lads? Um, oh, you're a lad. I think, uh, yeah, that's a, you, yeah, lads are like guys that wear their like, kind of hats like what you're wearing and, yep. and pull their pants down and run around. Kind of how you do. Uh, oh, you don't go like, oh, but you wear your pants low like that. No, I don't, man. Okay. Never. And lastly, of course, let's just get straight into some big cock, everyone. There it is. Um, that looks I feel like, like we've seen that more than once in our time, but that's cool. Big cock, it says it hits the spot. Fantastic. So, there it is. So right now we have a live, first of its kind, live bank at Bathurst. Check it out. <laughs> now, of course, thanking is the delightful art of reappropriating a product or a food by holding it down near your crotch and taking a photo of it. I love it. Uh, it's a particularly artful thank if you can do it in a public place and not get arrested. So we've been getting thanks from all over the world. We're going to kick off straight up. Martin, here it is. Oh, well done. Angry cock. Angry cock. Well done. Now, um, angry cock appears to be um, some Tara Valley apple cider. That actually sounds and good. I personally wouldn't mind getting my mouth around that I angry cock. I would put cock. my mouth around that angry cock. That looks absolutely delicious. Now, next up, Martin, we have, I mean, let's let's just get real. Nut roll. A nut roll. Straight up. Now, what is a nut roll, you may be wondering? It's a dude, did you notice that it says salted nut roll? Delicious. I reckon that one's like not had a shower for a while. Really? Yeah. He's, he might have been up here on the mountain. Uh, I think we're causing a little bit of a traffic jam. You know, maybe we'll just, I reckon, leave a little pathway through because I don't want to get stabbed in the next hour or two. Thank you very much, my man. Now, um, come around behind us, everyone. Get yeah, on the camera. Him. You'll be on the it internet. Is. Imagine that. Do yeah, get seriously, get amongst out, it. You can like say, you can wave at the camera. You can, yeah, do not get your balls out. Oh, seriously. <laughs> no, you're, you're a girl. You're a girl, you're fine. But you guys, no, no, please no, no, don't no, get no, your no. balls out. None of that. Right. Can someone be on ball patrol? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, man. It's your job to keep your eye on these guys' balls. If you see balls, start yelling. Yes, all right. Okay. Uh, Martin, straight up squirt. There well it is. Done. That's a good thing. Simple. Single. Just nice and simple uh, and tells you exactly what it is. Singular, singular syllabic. Man, this is pretty clever. Right. This guy has used the fingering technique, which oh, is where you can use one finger awesome. to cover part of the word to make an amazing bank. Here it is, the wang. That's fantastic. Just a big wang. It's Cabernet Sauvignon. Ca it is. And last up, I, I say it every week. I say that, but I pretended not to, so don't think I don't know wine. I don't know wine. You don't drink wine. I don't know wine I don't at all. drink wine. But I know how to pronounce a French word. Like Beer? Leblanc. No. <laughs> like, um... Sausage. I only know one Have French word. Have you seen word. those sausage things getting around where it's sauvage but someone's changed it to sausage? Johnny Depp, that's brilliant. Have you guys seen that? Johnny Depp's got some smell. I don't know, it smells like ass, but <laughs> apparently. <laughs> anyway, so there's these big signs and they say sauvage, but some genius, some legend has printed off an S sticker, the same font as the V, replaced the V with an S, and now it says Johnny Depp sausage. <laughs> Ah, uh, incredible. So, it's, yeah, now, French, anyway, Martin, Can you pronounce I, French? Sorry, I say we'll, this. We'll get it back to this another day. Have you got another one? I only know one French word, <laughs> which is which we have to beep because apparently it's the rudest word there is. Oh, that's the stuff you eat with chips and cheese No, on that's it. poutine. Oh. That's different. I knew that too. Um, I was just pretending. I know Martin, French. each week I always say it's the best thank ever, and I'm just going to say it again because this is so clever. It's so good. Are you ready? Yep. This is... Are you ready for yeah, this? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good to go. Mount Franklin. No! Yes! How have we not seen that before? Mount Franklin. Dude, in we fact, have one right we here. We have one right here. 
Look at that. That's incredible. Mount Franklin. My Mount Franklin leaked all over my head and balls. Now, of course, you can upload your own thanks well to done. the Fanking Facebook page, which is facebooks.com forward slash Fanking Daily. Uh, go to your local shop, leave your pants on, nude ones we can't share, uh, and um, get a product, hold it down near your bits, take a photo of it, then send it to us. We really get off on what we, we enjoy seeing them a lot. Fanking is the incredible art of recontextualizing an object by holding it down near your crotch. Pants must be worn uh, and finger covering of certain words is allowed, like in our first example this week, which looks like a PS4 game to me, and he's, he's cleverly used, used the thumb there to hide uh, Des, and he's ended up with Tiny and with holding tiny. his release. That's a good it's one. It's a that, solid effort. It's, it's a solid effort. I'd give that a three and a half out of 10. Um, the extra point is for the fingering effort. We don't normally actually uh, rate these, so no, I'm, I'm not going to score that at all, because otherwise you'll feel bad and no one will send any in. Next up, Martin, it's, it's Cocktober. That's great. Warm up with a bowl of stew, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is that? Uh, I guess in the 10th month of the year, it's something that you can um, do with a guy or girl called Toba. It's got a tick from the Idaho Beef Council. Good. So a shout out to them, um, possibly. Well done. Fingers. Yep, good. No covering required. It is what it is. We've actually up. got a lot of thanks this week. The thanking page has been going crazy. It is going on. Which is facebook.com you know forward slash thanking daily. It's gone ballistic. Thanking as an experiment, actually. We made that page. Thanking for years and years and years and made the page and thought, you know what, we're not going to tell anyone about it. Yep. It's just going to exist and people will find it or they won't. And about 800 people found it. Yep. And the page, page has been up there for... Unicorn Circuit's been going for three months. Yep. That page has been up there for three years, I reckon. Easily. And it's just been sitting at around 800 people. Uh, not Which means there's 800 OG Fankers. OG Fankers. There you go. Let's get that on a shirt. So anyway, there's so many thanks coming through. Normally we go four or five. We're busting out a bunch of thanks this time. We're busting out all sorts of chunk, chunks of chunks of fingers. Cadbury fingers. Squirt. Straight up. There well it is. Done. Tells you what it is. Can't buy well that done. at my supermarket. What is that, do you reckon? I don't know, but it's next to some AW, which is that root beer stuff. So I'm going to guess that's America somewhere. Oh, I like that. And shout out to this guy's shoes. Look at that, well they got like a dotty, dotty thing on them. Ding dong. Yes. That would have been a perfect fingering technique, of course, yes. cover the ding, but ding dong, there's something special about that. That is good. Have you seen that YouTube video, you touch my ding, you touch my tralala, <laughs> you touch my ding ding dong? I feel like I should have seen it. Yeah, the guy with the moustache and girls. Okay, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Ultra yes. boner, well, well done. Well done. Well done. That's a great, that's just great. That's a good use of the uh, index finger there. I like that it's precision liquid. <laughs> I didn't even notice From that. From the Ultra Boner. That's amazing. Well done. Mrs. Palmer's. <laughs> well played. Ultra Sticky, the best grip around. Well done. That's, that's, that's quality. Solid. Butt rub. Just tells you exactly what it is. Now, personally, I wouldn't mind getting my mouth on some butt rub. Yeah. This here seems to be some barbecue seasoning. A little butt rub makes everything better. See, butt rub and like in a smoker or something. Oh, Man, smoked, smoked butt, butt rub. rub. You smoke yes. that butt in the rub. Yep. Uh, awesome. And the last one of the week, which is just very, very clever fingering technique. And of course, we're giving this thank of the week. Here it is, everyone. The taste of... <laughs> well done. <laughs> the taste of me. I bow uh, down to you. That's good. That's... I think at the you end know, of this year, we're going to have to have the best of and give someone a prize. One of the reasons that's really good is that I reckon so many fankers <laughs> have walked past that exact bottle. Because I've, I've, there's mango juice everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and this, guy, this guy spotted it. And yeah. I, oh, I girl, we, we don't know. Uh, but, um, <laughs> but well done. That is the Fantastic. taste of man juice. That is the thank of the week. So welcome to our thanking segment. Uh, do you guys have any idea what thanking might be? No, no. thank you. No? Would you like to take a guess? <laughs> like fapping? Thanking. Like fapping, similar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what else thanks. does it sound like? Wanking, maybe? Wanking. I mean, I don't know, that's, that's just out there. This is new to me. So, of course, thanking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product by taking a photo of it down near your crotch, therefore completely altering the meaning of the name <laughs> of the product. Uh, people send these in from all over the world. So, uh, these ones, I think, have come in from America. So, for example, here we go. So, this is one someone sent in, wangers. <laughs> no, that's bad no matter where you've got it. So, that, that, uh, we've got wangers. 
Uh, we've got the happy squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's flies open. Did you invent this? Oh, the fly is open. We've asked yeah. people for no erections. No uh, we, we, we did invent this. <laughs> we, um, you know, the, the, the thanking page has been going for a few years. We've been doing it anonymously. Uh, and recently we just came out with but it and said, you out. know, it's like we actually did it. So, out. I mean, the, check out, what is that? What are you seeing here? Balls. No, no, no low, low balls. balls. <laughs> Spicy low balls. Yeah. So, so you see how this works? Mm -hmm. Now, a true and authentic thank, of course, needs to take place in a public space. There's no use just doing it at home. You've got to go to the shops, get the thing, hold it down, take it. It's super awkward. It makes shopping a lot more enjoyable too like if you're bored in the supermarket you just get the world is your oyster oh Brilliant. oysters you found a good oysters, sure there you go. now this one here i don't know if there's more after this but i'm giving this fank of the week okay read us out what have we got here we've got <laughs> man pole what is it <laughs> Man pole, well done man, well done <laughs> well, well done. done to man pole i'm giving that fank of the week i think that's it oh there's one more just straight up here we go this guy, <laughs> this guy sharing his fat well boy. But I'm giving yeah. thank of the week to Man Pulp. Of course, he used the fingering technique, which is allowed, which is using one of your fingers to cover part of the word. Uh, you can submit that your wasn't own. His finger. <laughs> it has to be, or it's not allowed. <laughs> you can submit your own thanking uh, photos to facebook.com forward slash thanking daily. So, this is thanking. This is where you reappropriate. It's not really, is it? Yeah, you re you re recontextualize. recontextualize uh, a item of food, generally it's food. Uh, or you, tools, you, anything or you tools, like. You recontextualize it by holding it near your crotch. You may not take your pants off. I mean, you may take your pants off, but thanking is not the place to do it. Find a more appropriate time to do so and enjoy it. Uh, but this is thanking. Uh, and we've got a couple of thanks this week. I haven't seen these because um, this gentleman here likes to surprise me with them, which I also enjoy thoroughly. Yes, uh, but, but sometimes um, we never know what we're going to get. Of course, you can send your thanks in. We'll let you know how to do that. Oh, I'm going to remember this time. We said uh, there was some big news with thanking. The thanking page is about to hit 10,000 likes. No. Now, it sat on 800 likes for years, years. Um, um, mm -hmm. a man Martin and I have been doing thanking for a long time. We thank together for a long time. We send each other photos. I think there were thanks thanking. going back and forth before smartphones. As in there was like an Ericsson with a little camera thing and a keyboard yeah, on Ericsson it. Ericsson 337, yeah, trying man. to translate and send stuff to a Nokia Playing 2110. And then, yeah, that's right. Playing a little bit of snake. So okay. anyway, um, the uh, please go to the page. Uh, there's so much stuff going on there. Actually, I'm not even going to say please. I don't care if you go there or not. I actually don't care. I think you uh, might enjoy it though. We get nothing out of it, uh, except um, except there's a lot of lols to be had. Many. So um, what I really like is just seeing uh, different products from different places around the world. So let's just kick right into it, Martin. Here we go. We've got the sweet spear. Oh. Now, is not the sausage. It's a British sweet spear. Is it a sausage though? I don't think so. Uh, I think that's a carrot, mate. Oh. Taste the difference. British sweet spear. I reckon a British dude thanked that. Probably. I mean, it's got a British flag on it. He's got a ring around his hand, um, or around his thumb. Boy Wang. Oh, yes. Well boom. done. Boom. Well done. Now, I want to say two things about this I really thing. like that. I think that's very clever. Number one, shopping trolley visible. That means he's in a public place. Yep, well done. Number two, only one hand is on the packet. And you might be thinking, so what? Some people sending in photos where there's two hands on the packet, we don't know how they're doing it. And it, to be honest, it's stranger things. I've never stuff. tried. It makes me feel sick. I've never tried two hands on the packet before. No, because how, how are you taking the photo? How are you doing it before? Your nose. Magic. Next up, happy nuts. Straight up. Nice. There it is. I like place. that. It's very positive. Flanny, work boots, salt of the earth. Thank you for well your done. contribution to the planet. Jumbo, straight oh. up. Hey, is that a dog food? Extra large maxi beef. Look at it, man. I would Massive. eat that. Would you eat that? No. Would you have a taste? Have no you ever way. eaten dog food? No. Really? No. I've eaten a substantial amount of pet food in my time. Okay. Yeah. You went to music school, didn't you? Oh no, you went to audio school. Music you, school, you <laughs> Yeah, you guys had money and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, next up, boom, finger sports. Oh, well done. Well played. Not a food item. Not, not a food item. But, but that's good. And left-handed. You're left-handed, I'm left-handed, they're left-handed. Oh, left-handed the phone iPhone thing. It. Well done. And the last thing for the week, of course, is the Big Stretch Sausage. Well done. Uh, you appear to be in either Japan uh, or an Asian supermarket and um, enjoying a Big Stretch Sausage. Well done and congratulations. That is, of course, thanking for another week. You can send your thanking photos into us at uh, facebook.com forward slash thanking daily. We're going to do the thing here.
So of course, thanking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name by taking a photo of it down near your crotch. You can do tools, you can do food. You can use the thumb technique. You can use the fingering technique, which involves you uh, covering some part of the word with your thumb to therefore make the word mean something completely different. Martin, let's just crack straight into it. And here we go, we've got the sexy bouquet. Safe, but well played. Yeah. Available at lots of supermarkets and convenience stores. Is it? I think I've so. I've never seen that before, Martin. Uh, next... That's um, that's a women's deodorant. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, good. That may be why I've never noticed it. Uh, next up, Martin, we've got the chubby hubby. Well done. Well done. That's a good, just, just straight up. Yeah. Um, he's taken off Ben and Jerry's. He's fingered Ben for some reason. Do you reckon he's, Jerry's? well imagine if his name's Jerry, that'd be clever. If that dude's name's Jerry and it's Jerry Chubby Hubby, well hang on, that would be Jer Jerry has a chubby hubby. No, Jerry's. Jerry's the chubby oh, hubby. Oh, it's Jerry with the apostrophe before the S not after, all right? So Jerry owns the chubby hubby, doesn't he? Yes. Anyway, I'd, let us know. This is not a grammar show. I'm, um, do people make grammar shows know. and put them on YouTube and, I hope and so. just talk about grammar? I bet you they do. I hope so. This is the partner sprinkler, Martin. That's really clever. That's clever. Well done. Well, because done. that's hardware shop as well, right? That is hardware shop. What's a partner sprinkler, Martin? I know what that is. I, that's why I'm asking you. What is it? So normally you get a sprinkler, and I reckon that's the little sprinkler that gets the bit of the yard that you can't reach with your big sprinkler without like wetting your car or your dog. Oh, you reckon it's just like an add-on? I spend a lot of time at hardware shops. Do you? Yeah, I like them. Yeah, I do too. They're open until 9 o'clock. Awesome. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty wild. <laughs> Next up, we've got the... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's firstly it's Coburn. Is it? Did you know that? No. That confuses the hell out of me. People when people's it, name want. is Cockburn, but it's Coburn. It's yeah. a funny English thing that I don't understand. But properly. people can actually they can call it whatever they want. Maybe so watch the grammar show. This about is that Cockburn's too. fine rub. Now, he could have, I'm just gonna put it out there, he could have potentially used his index finger to cover the word burns, and we would have just got cock fine rub. You know, just, just if, you, if you're interested, just thought I'd share some of the with you, Daniel San. All right, next up, Doug's nuts. Well G'day, done, Doug. Simple, effective. Doing, I don't know where he is. Is they're, he in a. They're crazy good nuts. He's in a bottle shop. He's, he's in a bottle shop of some kind. But well done. Uh, good job, mate. Next up, we've got Dick Fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very sneaky and clever fingering technique. How That's many great. hands are there? There's, there's one. Wait, what? Is that another hand? That's another hand. Is it? Um, I think either way, going on there. his friend uh, is here next to him uh, with the cons on, uh, and she, I think it's she because of the tight pants, uh, these days you'd never know, but I think it's she, she's obviously keeping watch to make sure no one catches him. Um, people cook things in duck fat, yeah. in fact we've got a friend who cooks things in duck fat, uh, and he's got a restaurant, and once somebody came down and they ordered a vegetarian thing, and they're like, this is the best broccoli ever, and he's like, that's because it's cooked in duck fat. But they didn't, it was on the vegetarian menu. No, it's not, no, it's it's not vegetarian, it was just vegetable. It wasn't a vegetarian restaurant, it was just broccoli cooked in duck fat. And they were like, and it probably tastes like, incredible. Because it has, because it has Donald. Because humans like ducks. Um, also interesting uh, that that dick fat is best before the 24th of August 17. What happens then? What happens on the 25th? That's what I want to know. Something frightening. Yeah. Something frightening. You start growing wings and you turn into Donald. Anyway. Uh, next up, we've got Everyday Price. What does that mean? Oh no, it's the Big Daddy Nuts, Martin. It's Big Daddy Nuts with the three fingering technique. Well done to Not you. Bad. Um, wonder how much that is, Martin. It looks like, is that $57? That's a lot for some Big Daddy Nuts. And of course, last of the week for thanking, we've got Bone In. Well done. Oh, that's a bit rough, that one. Well done, mate. I don't know about that. Does that make you uncomfortable? It makes me a bit uncomfortable. If you would like to send in your thanks, uncomfortable or not, you can send them into the Thanking Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Thanking Daily. Thanking Daily. So check it out. All right, let's hook right into my town. Of course, thanking is the delightful art of reappropriating a product's name by taking a photo of it down near your crotch. Bonus points are used if you've taken the thank in a public place. The fingering technique is allowed to be used, which is where you cover part of the word or the brand with a finger, therefore recontextualizing and changing the spelling of the name. Or you can just go old school. So we're going to kick this thing off, Martin. And you go straight organic. Up, you can go organic. We got the old boy. Now, is that a term they use overseas or is that an Aussie thing? I'm gonna go get me old boy out. I think that sounds a bit Aussie. Really? Yeah. So, do you know we'll what- get out me old boy. Do you know what that means to get out your old boy? If not, I can't imagine an American chap saying that. Well, maybe. How would, how would that sound, Martin? I'm gonna get out my old boy. 
Yeah, that sounds like you're getting a gun. Yeah. Doesn't it? If you're from Texas, maybe. Um, anyway, there it is, the old boy. Next up. Oh, well done. The chunky plow pickle. Now, Martin. Well done. I want to eat that. I like these there. I'm pretty sure that's his, that's his lady friend next to him, unless yep. his mate wears really brightly coloured shoes. She's on lookout, isn't she's she? She's on lookout, and she's there experiencing, and she's probably standing there, because I know if I go fanking with other people, yeah. they usually just look at me like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, because exactly. if, you know when you're on a really good, like um, like a roll, you're on yeah. a hat trick, and you've just seen a couple of fanks in a row, and you're there going, yes, yes, and you're it's pulling fantastic. the stuff off the shelf, people are walking past you looking at you going, what's this idiot doing? I'm just checking the product. But it's reasonable that you would take a photo and you would send it home to your mum or your dad or whatever, and like go, is this the chunky plow pickle that you wanted? It's just you're not usually holding it down there. Um, but well done to this person. I'm going to congratulate your partner or your friend for being on lookout. And the thumb technique is highly effective. I also like that the thumb technique is on the same hand that's holding the item. Yep, that's I, good. I, I like that. Um, and also impressive depth of field on that photograph, isn't good it? Photo. Are they taking that on an SLR? Is that on a phone? Well done. Next up, we've got the. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I'm not nothing needs to be said. Nothing needs to be said. Good on you. Double thumb technique. It's someone else's thumb as well, which is confusing uh, the hell out of me currently. And after that, you get triple chocolate. <laughs> Beaver nuggets. Beaver nuggets. I hope that's from Canada. What is it? What is it? Now there's a little. There's a Mickey doll above it. Yeah. Um, that looks so like it's in a, a toy tourist. Shop? I reckon that's like a tourist shop. Now it looks like Beaver nuggets are. Um, I don't know what they are, Martin. I'd like to eat them. Where would we get a beaver nugget? And I'd like to, I'd like to eat it. Um, delicious beaver. Uh, here we go, mate. This is that's a Yankee candle. Oh no, sorry, it's a festive cock. Sorry, I didn't know what we we're looking at there for a second. What is the what is the word supposed to say? Festive cocktail? I have no idea. Festive, it's festive cocktail, isn't it? But it's a candle. It's yeah, Yankee I know, but candle. It's a, it's a festive. A passion. It's a Christmas candle. Oh, Yankee candle. A passion for fragrance. Festive cock. Well done. Merry Christmas. Next up, Martin, Super Dick. There it is. Put on your cape and watch it fly. I'm look. That looks like Super Dick Man. That would have been just as good. I think it. I think it is Super Dick Man, Martin. Um, which Bro. appears to be a chocolate plug. What language kind. is that? Do you reckon that's German? Ah, uh, chocolate. Oh no, it doesn't. In the Freischen box. It sounds. I don't know, Martin. It's made by the Stork Company. Good on you. Uh, have you ever eaten a super dick? If you have, they please look let us know. I want to wrap my... Yeah, my... I'd wrap my laughing gear around that. <laughs> <laughs> premium English... Oh, sorry, yeah. it's a premium English willy. There it is. And that, that's so English, isn't it? Yeah. The premium English willy. We've got lots of thanks today, because there's so many that are this coming through the ones. banking page. Premium English willy. I mean, that's that's a quality willy. You know, I don't drink wine, but I'd, I would have a I taste of that. Cider, would you? man. Isn't is it? it? Cider apple Cider sours. Apple. Probably, oh, probably quite good. Sounds really good. It would be good. Let's get some, Martin. I'd, I'd have some of that. Nut whip. <laughs> Simple, effective. I like the hand over thumb technique. The guy obviously works on cars too. Whoa. And he's got a couple Martin, of mates no. with him. How is it that his other leg is outside of here? That's not his other leg, that's his mate. Is that another person? That's pretty trippy because though. Because I'm seeing some blue jeans and then I'm seeing a massive thigh gap. And then I'm seeing more blue jeans. And, and then a shoe. shoes. There's a new Barbie coming out with no thigh gap. What? As in the doll. How do you know this? Um, because yesterday I was reading the newspaper and this celebrity that used to be on Home and Away is like the ambassador for it. Oh, Home no. and Away is some crappy TV show we have here. Oh, maybe it's good, maybe you love it, sorry. I don't know, don't watch it. Could be exceptional. <laughs> I'm yeah. doubtful. All right, next up we've got the ball massager. Now, Martin, would you have a go at that? No. Okay, good. Let's just keep it moving then. And last, oh, wow. we've got, there it is. The well great done. Australian of the week. It's the great Australian taste. The grass-fed anus. <laughs> <laughs> um, well done. Um, and I do believe underneath, is that is that anus beef? Well done. Could this be a, a, a female thank? Maybe. It's, um, it's, it's quite a and, nice manicured and uh, thing here, and, uh, and 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 but, but who knows? It doesn't matter, mate? it actually doesn't matter. We're living in quality times, where that stuff is, you can go do what you like. 
Um, there it is. Of course, thinking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name by taking a photo of it down near your crotch, particularly in a public place. You can use the fingering technique, which involves using one of your fingers to cover part of the word, then taking a photo like this one. There it is, everyone. Nut butter. Classic. I've seen a few of these, but they come in different shapes and sizes. What did Nut say before he come fingered it? Nutter butter. Nutter? It's a thing. You see it on TV in America. Really? Yeah, nutter butter. What is it? I don't know. It's like a peanut butter thing, isn't it? It's the peanut butter lover's cookie bite. It's a biscuit, right? It's a... Uh, no, biscuit's a sandwich. Oh, a cookie. A scone. A scone. I think that, no, uh, do they call it a cookie? A cookie and a biscuit are very different things. I think in America a scone means a sandwich and a cookie means a biscuit. And a biscuit means a... a cookie. A... No, a bicky means a, a biscuit's a no, sandwich. No, they bickies. Oh, don't they? No. And their gay times are called the big bite. And a, a big sandwich bread or something? Is, is when you go to the shops and you get half a loaf. And the liquid that you fuel your car with, they call gas. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the skinless sweet, sweet pork. pork. Long. Hey, look who makes that. Who? Oh, Martin. It's Martin's pure food. Martin, it's your skinless sweet well pork. Extra points for associating extra the points, name. Extra points, extra long, well done. Next up we've got... <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a few of these, but well done. Because what's, what's, what's the word originally say? Cockpit. No. Does it? Yeah, it's for cleaning the cockpit of your car. Are we going to see more and more people making products that are fankable? Just to get them on the show? Just to pull them off the to shelf. To get those huge YouTube Just to pull them off the shelf. I reckon like I would make a thing... Did you buy the cockshine after it? Did you? That's the question. Bring up wins and tell them. Yeah. <laughs> tell them. <laughs> Please don't. All right, cheese balls, well the done. cheesier snack. Look at the grab technique. Just Look, grab that's, it's an aggressive grab, it's isn't a big it? Grab. That's how you pick up a kitten. It's like the that. cheesier snack. Uh, well done on that one. Um, well done. Well done. I can't see that letter. What is it? Does that say Fanktown? Welcome to Fanktown. Oh. Um, Population legend. Yep. Well done. What, what are we selling here? Oh, it's firewood. It's Fanktown firewood. Because it's getting cold. Where well done. Where that is. Next up, we've got the original <laughs> Slim That's Jim. That's a big Slim Jim. What is Slim Jim, man? Uh, I thought a Slim Jim was what you broke into a car with. It says down there. It says snack stick. Original smoked snack stick. It's like a sausage, I reckon. Oh, that's a, a sausage in a box. Those sausage, you you, yeah, I reckon it's a box. Big box. Nah, of you're not meant to put a sausage things. in a box. It's meant to be in plastic first. Oh. Isn't it? I put it in a No, bag. it is in plastic. It's a it's a sausage in plastic in a box. <laughs> it is. It is. There's probably lots of sausages in that box too. Like all at once. I'm serious. Well, Alright. Everybody, and now Fink of the Week. Here it is. I'm giving it to me. Uh, <laughs> because I took this last week. Here it is, everybody. Make your own cock. Thank you very much. 31 pieces. <laughs> 31 pieces. 31 pieces. Of course, if you would like to submit your own thanking photos, go to a public place, thank yourself into oblivion, then send the photos to thanking... No, no you don't. Facebook, you thanking send them daily. To, you put them on facebook.com forward slash thanking daily. Of course, thanking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name or packaging by taking a photo of it down near your crotch. You're also allowed to finger such item by using your finger to cover part of the words to recontextualize the actual name. Now, yeah. being that many people have been out shopping for Christmas, the thanking page, which is facebook.com forward slash thanking daily, has just been it's off its face. Off and today, we're, 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 we're doing unicorn circuit uh, history. We're doing how many days in Christmas? There's like 12, isn't there? Oh, well, not today. Today there's 30 days in Christmas. Okay. There's 31 days in December, right? Let's go to December then. Okay, this has nothing to do with anything. But we're doing 30 thanks. We're smashing through them. And we're just, there, there's thanks from all over the world. I want to start by saying a disclaimer. A lot of the thanks we get are too rude to share on this show. That's true. Even when you do have your pants on. Like, and ones with pants off are immediately disqualified. They, so you need to go to facebook.com forward slash thanking daily, then go to visit a post and have a look. Mm. Some of them are so rude, I, can't, I don't even click the like button no. on them because I don't want anyone to know that I've seen it. Yeah. Like they're just, some of them are just, they're very, very clever, but too rude to share. Right. Uh, we're doing 30 thanks. We're smashing through them. Who's ready? Let's do I'm it. ready. Wild Snake. Whoa, Super Nintendo. Oh. Nintendo or Sega? Neither.
I was too old for that. Really? Dude, he was already in high school. Yeah. Oh, what did you play with? Commodore 64. Oh, I thought you were about to say Commodores. Were yeah. you a Commodore yeah. 64? Yeah, kid? I used to program my own programs in basic. Mm. Yeah. 10, right, penis. 20, go to 10, enter, <laughs> penis, penis, penis. <laughs> <laughs> Programming 101. <laughs> I used right. to do that uh, down at Kmart. It was like penis on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also had uh, bookmarks in the dictionary of where the rude words were, so I could just open up. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Wild Snake looks like a Super Nintendo game. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, what's it say? Wow. <laughs> I'm not reading that one out that's loud. Oh my <laughs> well done, though. Yeah, that's pretty clever. It doesn't um, have to be a food item either. It does doesn't it? have to be a food item. Well done. What's this one? The D. This is the, no. that's the essential D. The essential Why D. not? There's 27 more to go. Let's get through them. Thank is the queen bean. Well done. In it at safe bank in them. Absolutely well done. Uh, <laughs> 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 Turbo Yoda, what is Ask Patrol? And have you ever gone on one? Oh, no. What is it supposed to be? I don't, I don't know. know. But, that base, base patrol? Base patrol? Is it like a DJ's, is it a stylus for somebody's... Dex. Martin, you know what it is. Grass it's your patrol. tuna. It's your Merlin. No. It's a Merlin hunter. It's a fishing it's shop. It's a fish muncher. It's a base patrol. There you go. Fishing well for Merlin in a freshwater stream. Look at that. Highly recommend it. It's an Imperial. Tyrell's wanky veg. Nice. <laughs> like that. Hey, just by the way, I thanked that about three years ago. Did you? Yep. Go back to the thanking page if you don't believe me. I recognise Martin's crotch oh, anyway. No, that's not me. That's. I. We're gonna also, get, someone else thanks. We're going to get double up thanks. We are. It's going to happen. A lot of people are posting cool. up cock soup, um, which is <laughs> where? where on the thanking page. Oh, yeah, yeah <laughs> on the like I it's that was some other it's, page. It's, it's some orange soup that's cock flavored okay, soup. Cool. Um, a lot of them have been coming in. Well done. Big and fresh. There it is. Like that. That's better than small and rotten, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, old cock. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we has got a friend called Old Cock. Do you? Which makes it yeah. even better. Is he downstairs? Need to get in no. there. No. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to eat some of that Old Cock. It looks. Is that cheese? It is. It's sharp cheddar. It's, it's not, old. It's cock cheese. It's not genetically modified. Look at that. It's Old Cock cheese. Amazing. Um, this is peach. Dog? It's peach and mango cock. Mm. Um, and this it's person serious. believes to be uh, midway through stealing an ATM. I think. Midway yeah. through a robbery. Well done, you black gloved bandit. Oh. <laughs> Lad cream. That's gotta come from the UK. We're proud of they, our squirt. <laughs> they must know Martin. Yeah. We're proud of our squirt. Smooth and creamy. Salad cream. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? It's, it's salad, salad cream. cream. <laughs> that was I didn't know what that was. <laughs> like, wow. Alright. Oh. No, a lot of cocks. <laughs> oh yes! Oh, it's deep penetration! <laughs> oh, yes. Electrodes! My homie! Who is? Arc welding. Really? Not really. Arc really. welding. Well done. Is that you? Show me your fingers. Your fingers, oh, your fingers are almost as manky. Yeah. Well done. Trady fingers. This is, <laughs> this mega, is mega gobbler. Look at that. That looks delicious. Probably dog food. Probably what I'm going to eat for lunch today. This is, um... Palm <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> he loves that one, he's on a breakdown. Oh, this is nut milk. Uh, yeah. Either a female fink or a, so a man with nail polish on. Yeah. Well done. There's so much nut milk, isn't it? Because there's so much coconut milk. It's, coconut it's, it's like thing. a thing, it's the superfood. It's nothing about superfood except the amount of money that goes into the superannuation of the dickheads yeah. selling it to you. It's <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's after a really rough night. <laughs> Woo! Bum shine! Well done! Well done! <laughs> that's one of my favourite ones in a long time. Is that bumper shine? Yeah. Is it? That's brilliant. It's long lasting You shine. just don't see bum written anywhere, do you? <laughs> that's a, what a great one. I got accused yeah, today of having a bum chin. Really? I got accused today of having a bum chin. No, I don't even know what a bum, a bum chin, chin was. You just had a big chin. Oh, I don't have a bum oh. chin. No. Man, you could give it some shine with this triple wax bum chin. shine. Look at this. <laughs> Boner hardwood. These people must know their stuff's rude. You cannot have a brand name called Boner and then your product is hardwood. 
Do they know, don't they? I don't know. They, I don't think they do. Do they know? Come I don't on. think they have that I'm sense of sure. humour. It's been around since 1919. I don't know. Oh, Bono okay. was invented then. Okay. I don't think we were that crass alive. back in the going in to 1990s. Get some oh, double! This is double. This is double. It's dare to go double. That's one. very clever. And it's two That's people. Very They're doubling up, and they appear to be. It's, it's a misguided doc. Is what was going. That's on. one yeah. of the first crossing double forward. double thanks I've seen. This, that could this, be a thing. This is this is thinking evolved. This yeah, is thinking going to the next this level. This is great. When you're thinking with your friends, a lefty and a right hander. Oh, that's convenient. I want to ride. Fair enough. Good. I mean, let's just tell it as it is. Let's yep. just go there. Gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, gentleman's relish, man. Delicious on hot toast. There you go. Amazing. Oh, wow. All right. And uh, we're almost there, everybody. Uh, we've got... What are we looking at here, mate? Nice tattoo. Oh, I just got laid. Look at that. Uh -huh. There you go. I mean, just cool. tell the world, I say. Boing. <laughs> That's it. Pretty good. That's boy. What is that? Whoa! Okay. Hold everything. This is a carbonated drink. It's in a box. Yeah. No. No. How does it pre how does it pressure? Because it must pressure the box. Carbonated drinks in Australia are only in cans. Carbonated, carbonated in, a, in box. a box? Do you in have bottles? boing in your country? Do you have carbonation in a box? And is that melon flavoured? That looks uh, like a guava. It does look guava. like a guava. Sparkling man. guava boing. fruit. All right, next up we've got the red bush. There it is. Bad. A little bit close to home. <laughs> we've got hammerite, the number one beater. <laughs> <laughs> I like his shoes. They're right. Blue laces. Well done. All right. The triple fang. This is the triple fang. We've got the sport edition, the limited edition, and heavy duty. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, well done, done, guys. Triple, I'm sure there's a name for what's going on there. What's Someone invented the name. Well done. All right, we're almost there, everybody. We've got the butt name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the final three of thanking this week, we've got... What? Oh. <laughs> God, it's very clever. That's from water. Isn't that a twat, someone who's an idiot? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, a twat, someone like that's Maybe. an English word, don't be a twat. Yeah, but I don't think it means idiot, dude. It means, it means something else. Does it? Maybe. Maybe just go to the next bank. People oh, will tell us. Twat means, oh, don't be a twat. Yeah. Is that that's, my yeah. act? That's, oh, don't be a silly little the twat. Hour, and there's the next bank. What's that one? That's C is the D. <laughs> 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 what is that? I think it's... um. Okay, tissues. It's a calendar. Oh, is it a calendar? <laughs> C is the D. <laughs> oh, and the last bank of the week, and of course we're giving it bank of the week, this week goes to... The <laughs> Anal Traveller. <laughs> oh, no. Serious? That's but they haven't fainted. That's real. Mum, this product is called <laughs> Anal Traveller. Does that mean... <laughs> Martin, the world has turned on itself. This is fanking Inception. Yeah. No. The product has now renamed itself as a fank in advance of fanking. And this is the Anal Traveller. Well done. It's for when you give the stink palm. Yes. And you'll clean it up afterwards. <laughs> Here's the Anal Traveller. Hand sanitizer. Stink palm. Well, you, do you know... I know what you would need... <laughs> he's broken. He's broken. <laughs> I know what you need the Anal Traveller the hand sanitizer for, Martin. Let me show you. For the anal digit. <laughs> yeah, you should have. It's just, I, I'm speechless. It would have speechless. been perfect if you had it. Yeah, so there it is. Of course, you can submit your completely juvenile um, thanking photos to the uh, thanking Facebook page. Thanking is the delightful art of recontextualizing an item, often a food item, by photographing that item down near your crotch. Um, extra points uh, for creativity, originality. You're allowed to use the thumb technique, which is where you cancel out parts of words using thumbs and fingers. Uh, we've seen dual thanks, we've seen triple thanks, we've seen she thanks. Yes. Uh, it's been quite a thanking delight over the last few weeks and months as thanking has exploded in popularity from its early days of having consistently 800 people thanking to over 15,000. There are 15,000 followers on the thanking page. Who'd have thought? Some of them are too rude to show on the show. Many I mean, they are out there. Like, you guys, you bunch of sick, sick people. Creatives. Um, as Creatives. such, if, if you want to see the really... Uh, creative ones, go to the Thanking Daily Facebook page, click on Post by Others or Stories by Other or whatever, and you can see some pretty rank thanks. Rank thank. But let's, um, let's just get right into it, Martin. Let's just show people what this is all about. So the first thank of the week, here we go. 
Mini Fang. Now this here, oh, cool. this is just an introduction. Now if that's a Mini Fang, I would ask you, what's a full-sized Fang? Don't answer, just have a think about it. Next, okay. Oh, I don't know. All right. Does this, is this legal? I don't know if this, okay, that's number one. That's nail polish, isn't it? This is either an incredible evolution of thanking or it's not allowed. So what someone's done here, which is quite amazing, is that I think it's fairly self-explanatory what someone's <laughs> done there, actually. Maybe we should move on, because I'm still grey area in this one, I don't know. But it's, it's, but it's, maybe we need a warning on this They've, they've added a letter to their kind of, finger and then That's put, gone uh, next level. That's, alright, okay, let's move on to it. Martin, cock leaky. Yes! And I don't know what cock leaky is. What's a leaky? Uh, I don't know. Is a leaky a mini leak? I think, I think so. I think cock leak wouldn't like, be great either. <laughs> you could plug your cock leaky with Fish a mini leak. <laughs> alright. Now, cockshine, cherry. <laughs> we, 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 we have seen a, a little, there's been some cockshining coming in. Uh, we, we shared this one. What, what is it? We probably covered this, but I've lost big track because I had things to do, like, you know, living. What is, what's that supposed to say? It's cockpit shine. Oh, I've asked that before and someone will find and, it. They'll watch cherry. every single unicorn circuit and they'll tell me. This is ass, straight up. Twinings or twinnings? Um, twinings, because there's no double there. I wrote their jingle, funnily enough, Twinings, a little while ago, and now I'm sharing their image with a picture of an ass. Martin, why? Cock scissors. What do you cut off with that? Is that a... Oh. Is it? I think it might be. Really? It's very decorative. It, no. Was a picture of what it's ch chopping in the top? I'm utterly confused. I don't really... Yeah, let's I'm flabbergasted on. on that one. It's just funny. The word anus is a funny word. It really is. <laughs> Anything for rectum. And that's in a planet name. Is it? Yeah, your one. Your anus. Yeah. Hang on, is that still a planet? People keep declassifying them and it upsets me. Martin? Pluto, what's happening? Pluto, this whole time, my whole life, you're a thing, and now you're not a thing. You're even my favourite thing. My favourite planet thing. My van eats more juice, so use Neptune. Use Neptune what? Ethanol? It's not E, they should rename a planet with E on it. Use Neptune petrol. That was the whole thing my whole life, and now it's gone. And what happens when electric cars take over? G'day, Rob. How you going, mate? Remember Rob who writes in and hates electric cars? Yes. Use Neptune what? Nothing. And we tell people we don't smoke bombs on this show. <laughs> and we want them to believe us. That's and we good. don't. That's Little good. tub. Look at this guy's shoes. 10 out of 10. A functional Dude, shoe. Dude, he's in the army. Is he? Or he's wearing army stuff. Well done. Next up, Virgin. <laughs> is that a she? I think that might be a she or a very beautiful. Well done. Decorated, decorated. Well tongue. done. Well done. Well been there. Organic as well. The nipple extractor, Martin. Do not want. Uh, I'm assuming that's for extracting a nipple. Oh, I don't want that in my life ever. No? I don't know what it is. I, I, it's obviously for greasing a nipple, but what kind of machine it would is. need the nipple extracted? For half inch something nipples. I'm going to say that's grease nipples. But why would you need to extract it? Like, no, I mean, when I used to play around with tractors when I was on the farm, the nipples are just erect in there and you stick it on and off you go. Inverted nipples. Okay. Mm. Good. For sure. Thanks for sharing, Martin. Martin, here's the ring stretcher. There we go, with a nylon base. What do you use that for, do you reckon? Someone, someone came up with the product, packaged it, sent it to the graphics dude who then made the box. The box got made, the thing got put in the tube, the tube got put in the box, and what, no one's looked at that and laughed? I don't know. Or maybe they did it to laugh. See, that's that's cool. But I feel like they're kind of like... What is it, though? We want to know. Can you guys Google it? Tell oh, us what that thing is. I know is. what it is. Oh, don't worry. Cancel that it's order. For, it's for, for rings. Rings, when you want to put rings on your fingers and your, fi your fingers are too big because you had too many nuggets and then they don't fit. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. I don't good. know. Someone else will correct uh, me. Last one. And think of the week. This week is going to the Big Muff. Well done. The pedal. Look at that. It's a guitar pedal. There it is. Niku, she doesn't big muff. She's got a big, ring stretcher. She's got a big, you go. big button. There it is, Martin. That's the thank of the week. Thanking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name by taking a photo of it near your crotch. It's incredibly juvenile. I'm sure my parents are super proud. You can upload your own thanking photos to our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash thanking daily. We'll make the thing doodle on the thing and it'll tickle the thing down here. First up, Martin. Boom. Butt lovers. Oh, nice. Well done. Act two. Oh. Which is apparently how you meant to do it. And someone <laughs> said, I don't know. I do, is it? I, I don't know. know. I, but do you know, like. No, I have no idea. What's the next one? Okay, let's move on. Um, Martin, this is 
That's a man cock. Right man. There. I do you think the people who invented the word, like the drink mango cocktails, ever realised that what they Is were that doing mango stuff? cocktails? It's always mango cocktails. How did you know it was mango cocktails? Because that's what... I had no idea what that was. I'm serious, yeah. how did you know? Because I can't even see that. Like, I'm that blo like that's too far away. But I know that some, anything that says man cock is mango cocktails always. I had no idea. Mm. I had no idea, man. Mm. Seriously, that's epic. Well, not you like a savant. <laughs> that's a naked ginger. Good, well done. And he must be in Australia, because look at his thong mum. Over here, a thong is what we call a sandal. Other what? places call a thong a no, g-string. jandals. No, jandals are thongs. Thongs are underpants. No, you're thinking of a g-strings are thongs. Jaffle is a breville, which is a breville, cheese It's not sandwich. a breville, even though breville came up with the, the process. The breville became the thing. It's like do a Google, uh, it's like do a breville. I just hope he doesn't bust a plugger. That means a break your sandal. Thong. Mutton. Oh, come on. What? I don't know. <laughs> That's a... It's what? <laughs> okay. Enough said. It's... Oh, okay. Let's move it on. Ma oh. <laughs> Deep and loaded. What is mutton? Sainsbury's is a shop, isn't it? Sainsbury's in the UK. There's so much UK going on today. It's England. Because of the mini, mate. It's because everyone's getting crazy getting on the mini. Crazy on the mini. My mini, mate. Oh, that's a clever one. I like that. That's like two stages deep. Good job. Well done. Yep. What does it say? That's just some hard up cream. <laughs> Does that exist? I guess so. Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't know why I'm asking you. Martin, that's a ring remover. <laughs> which sounds oh, awfully painful. Is that literally for removing rings off your fingers? No, I'm pretty sure it's when you've got a drink and it's uh, got some condensation, you put it down on wood and it leaves a ring. It's for rubbing the ring off. I thought maybe it was just oil for removing your ring. <laughs> it's for when you rub the ring off. Alright, let's go. Martin, deep impact. There it is. <laughs> hey, I watched that for the first time recently. Really? Yeah, I've never seen it. What is it? It's just so 90s, it's not funny. Awesome. If you were born in the 90s, you need to watch it. All right, deep impact, there it is. And Martin, uh, there it is. Bank of the week is going to the frozen cough maker. Uh, it's very cold, as we saw last week on the Unicorn Circuit, it was minus 50 in Russia. Do you know why this gets bonus points? A bonus point? Because it's just got, you only, it's only got one thumb, but the whole thing changes because your chill factor is a frozen cock maker. Dude, that's your thumb. Oh my thumb. god. Yeah, that's your is thumb. It? Yes. Or it's my yeah. twin. No, that's your thumb. You're giving yourself bonus points, mate. Really? Where did you find that item? I found it at Kmart. <laughs> you can send in your own thanks to the thing that's on the thing. There it is. Martin. Shopping will never be boring ever again. No, it won't. Ever again. Be creative. You get, get, your, get your banking radar on. My recommendation is the, like the vegan health aisle because some of those people um, that are in the marketing for those companies don't quite have a comprehension of how life. funny the internet can get. Life, wow. Um, uh, is, so the vegan vegetarian aisle is full of laughs, as is the hardware store and the dog food section. Thanking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product by holding it down near your crotch. Bonus points uh, for dual thanks, triple thanks, uh, she thanks. You can use the thumb technique where you cover part of the word of whatever's printed on that product to recontextualize it even more. You can go full on deep, triple thank deep sometimes. There's, there's extra, extra points for thanking. What's that, that movie where they go in the dream, the dream, the dream, the dream? That one. Uh, Inception. That one. There's Thankception. Uh, extra points of Thankception. <laughs> and uh, this week we have a delightful collection of thanks uh, for all of us to view, along with some delightful backing music to get you in the mood. I hurt my arm. What'd you do? I only just noticed this right now. What'd you do? I don't know. Which, which hand did you drill? No, that was that hand. Oh. I hurt that one. How'd you hurt it? I don't know. It just started, just started hurting. hurting. Oh, that sucks. Something to do with maybe... No, someone was suggesting. <laughs> oh, everyone <laughs> on the internet's going to be suggesting. I, no, because I, of the Honda Mini thing that they thought it was while I was working on the car because it's so hard to work on. I it. thought it was because you were so excited by it. I was, and I'm like trying to work on it. Um, but um, but yeah, no, it's while working on the Mini, hurt my arm because it's so small in there, so crammed. B16W. Uh, Martin, anyway, did you explain what this crap was? All right, let's hook into it. Here we go. I got to use a big word like recontextualizing and I felt so smart for about five seconds. Martin, bum burner. Well done. Well done. What That's intentional. That's intentional, isn't it? I don't know what like, they're doing. A marketing person said, let's call it bum burner because on the way out, it's going to sting your butt. Oh, what is it? Is that I think edible? it's a sausage. Oh, is it? A sausage? It's a hot sausage. Really? I don't know. I can't I see no it. I no idea. We always go through this. I can't see that far. 
Man, this That's is... That's out of focus. It's on pussy jerk sauce. What is that? What? What does it do? I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> that can't be real. What brand do you reckon it was? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'd eat it. There's a picture of a cat. Canadian large box. <laughs> well done. Well done. Good job. <laughs> Straight up. This is a cock full of nuts, man. <laughs> well done. Original cock full of nuts. Well done. What I don't know it? how that works, and I don't, want to, I don't even want to think about what that means. Looks delicious. Martin, this is the Big D killer. Well done. This looks a brand of, of Big D that makes lots of stuff. Is there? Yeah. The Big D. If you had a fly swat, would it be like the Big D slapper or something? <laughs> or the... Okay. Hey, does anyone use fly swatters anymore? Oh, people use the guns now. You get a little gun that's got a, um, you squeeze it and it goes splat. It gets the fly. Yeah. Have you okay. seen it? It's a flat bit with a little shaft on it and you put it in a plastic thing with a rubber band splat. Do you think flies have evolved to, if they see someone with a fly swatter, they just go somewhere else? If I went to a fly picnic, when they were not looking, I would legit go up there, dack myself and shit on their lunch. Because that's what they do to humans every day. No, no. Like, like, I have to see how you like it. People crapping maggots all over your food. Uh, wow. Here's James Bond from behind, mate. That's Arsebreaker 007. <laughs> <laughs> that's an amp. Well done. Oh, that's new. Bass breaker. Good job. Jack oil. Well Why done. does Jack need uh, what's, specific oil? What's going money? on here? Is there someone else in that photo? And what probably, are, are probably. they in a line at a shop? Um, I'm always interested in the in the context. I use that word again. Yeah. In, of, of what where that fang's happening. He's buying stuff like for his. I'm reading into it too. Don't much. know what happened it's there, mum. Here we go. Bowl. Here's some feeding frenzy. Bowl. <laughs> nice. That looks like it's at an aquarium or something. Well done. An aquarium. Martin, here's some extra dick. <laughs> We call that duck in Australia. What do we call that, that product again? It's toilet duck or something. Don't we call it toilet yeah. duck? A duck is a duck quack quack. And you meant quack, to squeeze quack, it up quack. under the thing so that, I mean, do we need this? Do we need to squirt up under the flap? Really? I, I don't understand the significance of the, the thing except that it's supposed to look funny and I guess it puts the liquid through the thing. No, that's I'm, what I'm saying. It puts liquid up under the flap. And do you really need to squirt liquid right up well, under I don't the flap? Know that, Can't you I don't just squirt that, it on the main Well, bit? I know that in a day-to-day -day basis, the liquid gets squirted up under the flap unless you, like, how is that even physically possible? You would, your... Have you ever cleaned a toilet, man? Your, you appen it. your appendage would have to look like the top of the duck. What? To, to wee on the inside oh. of the thing. It would have to. I don't, I don't understand, Martin. Crunchy balls. Balls. So yummy, you want them. Well done. That's said. Here we go, butt cookies. <laughs> now, there we, like, what, what's a butt cookie, Martin? What does it do? Oh, it was a butter cookie. Oh, it's a butter cookie. Well done. I thought it was some kind of, um, edible suppository. Um... Here we go, hammer time, the number one beater. Hammerite. Hammerite? Oh, it is hammerite. What's beige. It? It's beige as well, what, man. What would it have been it's before the, the number one, but what beater? Rust. rust yeah, if it was beater. rust beater, the number one rust beater. Sure. Next, we've got the arse cleaner. Oh, it was well a glass cleaner. It removes stub and grime I've never seen smear free results. Is that green glass cleaner? I've never seen it before. It's always blue in Australia. What colour is your glass cleaner? Well done. You know the best way of cleaning glass? Newspaper. Car detailer shot me that. Taught me that, shot me that, he shorn me, he shorn me like a sheep. <laughs> and then I was crispy clean. Uh, Martin, all right, we're going to finish up. Bank of the week. Bank of the Bank week. Of what the have week. we got? Bank of, of the week. week. Bank of, of the week. week. Here it is, Martin. Boom, we've got the boy wang. Well done, and well done on your shoes. What does it say? Cornic? It's the boy wing. Garlic, right? garlic flavored garlic boy wing. Garlic flavored boy wing. Oh, I don't want to eat that. No, I'm just going to say, if you would like to send us in your thanks, please go to the Fanking Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Fanking Daily. Upload your photos, and you might make it onto the show, and you can tell all your friends that you're famous on the internet on a quality entertainment program for recontextualizing products by holding them near your crotch. Ding 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 ding. Do you love the Fanking music? You made that, didn't you? That's fantastic. It's one of my favourite track ever. Has anyone ever noticed when the bank comes up, there's just this music that accompanies it all the time? Bing, 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 bing. Uh, that music, how that was made, is we were sitting here having lunch uh, once, and um, and we were like, we probably should make some music for that, and we we're like, we could do it while we had lunch. So we used um, an app on the phone, and we made silly noises in it. <laughs> 
And then we attach that to certain things and then we sequenced it. And uh, that's the music that you hear, which bing, is... Bing, bing, bing. Everyone's here for the thanking. Yeah, what have we got? Everyone's here for the thanking. Let's cack right into it. Kick, cack, cack. Oh, it's about me. Well, we no, 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 that's, no. It's that's the perfect the, ass. Yeah. Boom. Well, 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 Martin, we're going to move right through them. Yeah, because there's just so many. We're just going to smash yeah. through. Here we go. Stumpy. Love it. Well done. What is that? It's very Creaming stumpy. soda flavoured fat, low fat milk. Ooh. No. We do not get that over here. Mm. And the answer is no. Martin, no. Oh! Well done. Well done. I've seen Knob Creek, but Knob, Knob, Reek. Knob Reek may potentially go with the Spelling, first thing. Spe <laughs> <laughs> Spelling errors are uh, completely acceptable, by the That's way. That's amazing. You. Well done. All right. Here we've got the, <laughs> the chocolate log, well which is slang in Australia for a... Um, <laughs> something that doesn't matter what that is. Martin, here it is. Nut spray. Coconut. Coconut Burn. and mango. They are just so versatile. If we can get a coconut and mango item, you would get man nut spray. Yes, you would. Mega bone. Well done. All beef. Yep. Good job in the dog food aisle. Squirt. <laughs> Straight up. Get on it, Martin. What's that green stuff back down there? We uh, get that that in Australia. is celery juice. Is it? Yeah, hundred percent. Bright green like that. Celery juice. Pineapple on the right. Celery, and then there's like a ready watermelon looking one. Celery juice is not a thing. Yeah, it is. I think it's kiwi fruit juice. No, it's not. You, no way. You know how many kiwi fruits you'd need? Anyway, we're, we're digressing. Martin, here we go. Polish sausage. Um, Polish sausage. Oh, Polish the sausage. It means Polish sausage. Polish sausage. Pol Poland the land or Polish the sausage? Uh, both. In Poland. Okay. Um, Martin, which is a good little thing, of course, our other show, Mighty Car Mods, uh, started on TV uh, in Poland. It did. Uh, last week. Yeah. Uh, it's also started in the States and is starting all over the world. But I saw the Polish one because somebody uh, filmed a bit of it and put it up on the page of the other show that we make and I got to see it. If Mighty Car Mods is on TV in your country, can you film a little bit of it and put it up on the Mighty Mods wall? Because we want to hear the voiceover talents of whoever revoiced them. Anyway, there's Polish people. There's a dude for you and a dude for me. Look at the reverse backwards thumbing technique. I really like that. That's pretty good. Like he, right, he really wanted to stay right-handed with the phone. I can't do that at the moment. Anyway, if Mighty Mods is on TV in your country, film a little bit, post it on the wall. I'd love to hear what the voice sounds like. That's our other YouTube show we make. I wouldn't recommend watching it. Would I you? Would. Yeah, it's good. Nah. And if you're part of it, unsubscribe. Of Daihatsu's. And subscribe to this show instead. Martin, super blow. Boom. This guy's buying a spoon. That's a big spoon. That's Why big do you spoon. need a ladle? Why? Tell us. Martin, here's Big Marty. It says Big Meaty. Oh, Big Meaty. Should have gone to Specsavers. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I wasn't expecting well that Well done. Well done. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Nothing to say. Moving on. Arse Fresh, Martin. Oh. There it is. What do you reckon that is, actually? Base. Base Fresh. Yeah, it's Base. Base Fresh. Cat. Cat. What's that fascinating? Look, it's an interesting melange of edible concoctions on their table, isn't it? Yeah. That almost looks like Okonomiyaki and little kind of Asian bowls there. Little, some JDM snacks going on. Martin, here's Nut and Go. Well done. Which is... <laughs> People say wombats do that, don't they? In Australia, so wombats are like a little creature that are not that little. One of our friends ran into one and rode off his car. Don't run into them. They're like, they're, they, they're, they're kind of, they look like a barrel. They look like, like a barrel, a barrel at down on all fours and like going like that. And they burrow. Um, some people, um, they were in Australia, they refer to a person as a wombat. You've yeah. heard that? Yeah. You're a wombat. That means they, <laughs> they, um, they come home and they eat something and then they go to the toilet and then they leave. Like a wombat. Sure. But if someone's... You've heard that term before? Yeah, but they I've go, heard two versions of it. I don't know the difference. There's eats, shoots and leaves and there's eats, roots and leaves. Oh, okay. They, uh, do they eat roots? Oh, I don't think they it do. It eats roots and leaves, meaning it eats roots and leaves. I think they mean shoots, like little shoots of like mm, mm, little shoots that come out of the ground. That's I've never not been what able I to understand it. Someone will clear it up for Someone us. Someone tell us what does it mean if you're a wombat. Martin, Bill and Drill. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tennis what trainer. Does it do? It's a tennis trainer, Martin. Bill and Drill. That's a sad product, isn't it, though? Is that the thing on the, on the elastic band? I don't know, but I think the best tennis trainer would be a mate. They are awesome, those things. Are they? Yeah. Bill and Drill. Oh, there it One is. of the first things I ever did, like with tools, was I had to put a, a screw into the into the ground so I could attach one of those tennis trainer things. Do you want one of them? I had one when I was a kid. But do you want another one? I'll get you one. No. Are you sure? Where am I going to use it? In here. Dude, I think you really want one. I'm going to get you one. Thanks. Can man. someone get us one and send it in, please? And it's from me. <laughs> that work. Martin Dick Toys. Nice. Boom. It's a Porsche Spider S15. Does that say 918? Sure. Should have gone Let's go to with that. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> What? 
It's are they dried shiitake mush mushrooms? Yeah, but, but that's, that's awesome. Shiitake well done. I haven't seen that before. Uh, well done. Um, would you like to eat a dried shiitake? No. no. Didn't I get you a shirt with a mushroom on it? You did. Mm. It says something like that on it. Martin booty rub. No thumbs required. No, nope, just it is what it is. And finally, it's organic. Last up, bank and it's getting week. bank of the week, Martin. It is. Are you ready? Can you do me a drum roll? Like a Wow, okay. We've got cock napkins. Wow. Well done. Now, I was going to say, what would you use them for? But I think it's pretty clear. It's for a cocktail party. Absolutely. If you would like to send in your thanks, you can upload your photos to the Fanking Facebook page, which is faceballs.com forward slash banking daily. Some thanks are too rude to share. So you've got to have a look at the Facebook page yourself. And you guys are going off. You really, you really run with this. You have. You really have run with it's, it. It's become What's a thing. What started as just a silly little picture message every now and then has just grown, as things tend to do. We all know that banking has finally made its way into the greater consciousness once it appears on Urban Dictionary. Ah. The, the true epitome of what is relevant and what is not. How is that done? Someone submit it. Go to Urban Dictionary, submit banking, explain what it is. Let's Wikipedia. get it out there. Although Wikipedia don't let you write about stuff that's online, do they? Because no, you're not allowed to encyclopedia about the encyclopedia's home. Oh, that's exception. Like, yes exception but negative exception of course thinking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name by taking a photo of it down near your crotch and this week um it was brought to our attention that thinking actually made its way into an international newspaper of some repute or disrepute uh and they actually wrote a how-to thinking guide it was pretty lame you know like when people go oh you want to be planking or whatever it is here's how to do it oh planking planking used to be a thing and you just planked in a random spot and then you did a Harlem Shake somewhere. Yeah. And then all these things have come and gone. Yes. And maybe Fanking's already gone. Maybe. Maybe. But Not we today, will hang though. on to it. We will hang on. Uh, so thank you, of course, for all your thanking. The thanking page has hit over 15,000 thankers, so thank on my thanking buddies. And Martin, let's just, let's just get right into it. Boom, what do we got? Bing, 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 bing. Nut butt filled. Well done. What's that, Martin? It's a cliff bar. I reckon that's a, one of those like a protein, protein things protein when you're thing. riding a bike and you eat the thing. Face balls. Face balls. Well done. Squeaky face balls. Good job. Beat it. Beat it white, Martin. Apple Jackson. Uh, is, that, um, is that beetroot juice? Uh, yes. We don't have that here in Australia, do we? Oh, you could probably make beetroot juice out of the beetroots that we have in Australia. You could, but you can't get it like that. I was in New Zealand once. and You can get it, but not in that box. Can you really? I've never seen it before. I was in New Zealand and I asked for a beetroot and orange juice. They got some oranges and they put them in the machine and then they got a can of beetroot Ooh. and canned beetroot has been vinegarized and salted Ooh. and they gave it to me. It tasted like secondhand vomit. Martin, shake, squeeze and squirt. From pizza. pizza Hut. We used to have pizza huts here. We still do somewhere. Do it. I Not think actual, in Queensland, like, don't they? Restaurants. In Queensland, is it? You can still get like delivery and takeaway and stuff. Can you? I'm pretty sure. I thought they went bust. They're like $5 pizzas. All of a sudden, isn't it weird how those pizzas used to be like $19.95 for a pizza back in the 90s or whatever? And now, and they even that was like double the hourly standard rate. And now that same pizza is like $4.95. It's what it's changed. Crazy. And apparently their profits went right up. I have had no involvement with Pizza Hut, but I uh, have written the music for many Domino's TV commercials. That's a fact. Something I'm pretty proud of for my CV. Uh, here we go, Martin. Dongs. Dongs. Boom. Stomp on it. Stomp on the dong? I don't know. Martin, that's a, a grinder tube. I think that's a combination of two different things. A grinder and a tube? Yeah. It's a grinder attached to a tube. Anyway. Martin, that's mini roll, massive joy. It's, that's, quite, that's it's wide though, isn't it? Very it's possible. small, but it's wide. That's very possible. No one should ever discount that. Martin, that's a nutty royale. I want to eat it. Do yeah. you want to eat it? I do want to eat it. Is a nutty royale what we call a drumstick or a cornetto? Yeah, probably. It's basically a cone with ice cream and nuts and mm. juice on the top. <laughs> Pet products. Fat balls. For your wild birds. <laughs> the people at Hoje Pet Production sat around and went, "There's a, the market needs this thing, and that's what we'll call it. And they made it, and now it's for sale. That's one pound. And it's only one pound, which is about three Australian dollars, isn't it? Something like that. 
What is it? Please tell us. Someone get in touch if you're from Jose Pet Productions. We'd love to hear about what this is and the history of how that, how that product came to be. be. Bonin. Nice. Straight up. What is that, Martin? Emotion sickness. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. When the tagline of the product actually is associated with the fang, yeah, that's, even that's just double. That's, that's fantastic. Just great. Well done. What? This was legitimately on the, on the thanking page. You didn't just grab this from somewhere. No. Is that you? No, that's not me. Um, oh, oh, it's the junk in the trunk is what they're saying. Oh. That's just the cover of Roadkill magazine. And Martin, it appears you and I are on the front of it. We are. With some other I'm gentlemen. showing a lot of leg in that picture. Are you? Yeah. You show us your hands. Um, anyway, that's a good photo. I remember taking that photo. Mm. The photographer like took a few photos and we're like, why'd you take a few? That's why, because that looks good. And mm. he's a professional. Here we go, Martin, lawless jerk. Living on the fringe of society. What's, what's going on with the picture? Um, Is that a blindfold? Yes. Okay. It's a blindfolded lawless jerk. Which some people are probably into that. <laughs> in case you didn't get it the first time. That's two different pronunciations of the same word, is that correct? Yeah. I've been seeing a lot of cock soup lately, and I think you and I should try it. What about the sporty rooster, the cock sportif? Oh yeah. Like, they just spell it with a C-O-Q, like it's a totally different thing, and this is proof that the cock sportif is just the cock sportif. Okay. Isn't it? Um, I've never seen this in Australia, but if I can get my hands on some of this cock, will you drink it? Is that cock soup? Yes. <laughs> will I drink cock soup? I don't know. Will you try it? Maybe if it's in front of me and I can smell it first. <laughs> All right, we're going to try and get some cock soup on the show. If we can't get it, we might have to do a call out so you guys buy some because I've never seen cock soup in Australia. No. They wouldn't even allow something with that name in Australia, I don't reckon. I don't know. Um, Probably not. Would they? I mean, it's. I mean, that's. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. Mum, impregnation spray. <laughs> it says on the can what it does. Well done. That's some truth that's in advertising, good. isn't it? Martin Buster Nut. <laughs> that, that has multiple meanings, doesn't it? I think so. Um, you, get a, you get a macadamia and you put it in the little squeezy thing and it busts. Yeah. It up. I reckon if people probably go on Urban Dictionary, it has like a different name. Thanking has made its way onto Urban Dictionary. Has it? Thanking's in there. And, the, and, uh, and so you can have a look. Um, so anyone who's one of the OG Fangsters, uh, OG gangsters? Original yeah, okay. gangster fangsters. Yep. Yep. Any one of the OG fangsters who was part of this incredible social movement, uh, you've now made it you know, to the pinnacle of the internet's pyramid of discovery and heightened brilliance of your own personification. Are we up to Thank of the Week yet? Uh, Martin, I think this is now Thank of the Week. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Martin, give us one of your amazing drum rolls again, mate. <laughs> Cock soup! Hey! Well done. It's Caribbean dreams. The Caribbean dreams. It's Jamaica's cock soup. Well done. Uh, that looks delicious. Look at the look at the um, the cock's balls. <laughs> that That's amazing. Rather fortitudinal. We would love to um, see your cocks, your, your cock soup, and other. We'd love to see your. We would love to. Get on the get on the Facebook page. Yes, we'd love to see your cock soup and other pankings as well, yes. man. And other Facebook banking daily. Facebook.com forward slash banking daily. Send in your thanks. Uh, some are too rude to go on the show, but others are there. Uh, we'd love to see your cock soup, your thanking balls, your chocolate mistress, um, and all the other strange products that we've seen. Thanking is the delightful, incredible, spectacular art art of recontextualizing a product by holding it down near your crotch. Extra bonus points for using the thumbing technique where you can alter the title of the product slash object. Um, and it's submitted to our thanking Facebook page, which is facebook.com thanking daily. That's right. And you can submit your own thanks. Get on board. Some of them are too rude to share on the show. You'll have to check them out on the wall. But each week we choose a selection to share with you all. Let's just kick it right off with... Bang, 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 bang. Duck balls from the natural, the natural balance. Do you reckon duck balls are balanced? I Do you reckon they're like. Little... <laughs> Good point, Martin. Boom! Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, next. That's a lot of fingering. Okay, wow. So much oh, fingering. Let's just move that on. Martin, we've got some yeah. nut butter. We see a lot of nut butter. We do see a lot of nut butter. We do see a lot of those. They're all everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wasn't expecting. Holy that. crap! Is a breakfast cereal, Martin? No thumbing required. Well, there it is. Well done. Okay. Good job. Martin, this is a flash bang. 
Is that a um? I think it might be. Is that a explosive? I think it might be. Wow. Careful holding that there, brother. Martin, we've got the butt massage. What is that? <laughs> what actually is it? Is it like some special massage meat? People have been massaging kale now. You know, no, kale tastes a, like crap. That's not a thing. No, it is. Like kale tastes like crap, and it's really hard to eat. They massage it now with a with a shiatsu deep fingering, and then they put it in your. It's thing. a, a superfood, isn't it? I remember well. Marty and I went out for like a drink a few weeks ago. And uh, remember, we ordered some like it was like a ginger ale with like a bit of mint in it. Yeah. And do you remember what they did with the mint? So they get the they got the thing like oh, this, yeah. and they're about to put it into our drink, and then the guy gets his hand and goes, and then put it in our glass. Oh yeah, it was and we're like slap the aromas out of it. Yeah, and we're like, what's that all about, bro? And he goes, I was just bruising the mint. Bruising the mint. Does that work? Is that just I don't stupid? Know. You charge us like ten dollars for a soft drink. All right. Root pump. Boot pump? No, it's a root pump. What does it do? I don't know, Martin. It sounds like it does exactly what it says it's going to do. Next up. Us. Ah, Strong tea. and multi. Wow. <laughs> Good job. The T section. Good job. Grumpy old man's bits. Yep. We've all been there. Here it is. <laughs> Uncle <laughs> Joe's balls. balls. <laughs> they keep, keep you all aglow. What is that, Martin? That looks like a drink. I reckon that's a beer. And that's obviously taken overseas because no one in Australia would be wearing something like that right now because no. it's actually still, you know, still still really hot here. Uh, next up, Martin, we've got... I've <laughs> seen that a few times before. I don't even want to say that out loud. Yep. It looks delicious though, doesn't it? Yep. I'd eat it. Next up, Martin, butt candy. I love seeing how many people, like in that previous bank, have other people standing next to them. Like, what's that person thinking? Are they looking oh, at this them one, going, the mega load. Yep. what? are you doing? And if someone asks you, what are you doing when security comes up and goes, what are you doing? You go, I'm banking, man. Then you teach them all about it. And then yeah. you get a photo of yourself with the security guard. It's called art and recontextualizing. Uh, butt candy, with the, he's got a bass clef. Are you a bass player? Or are you just, bow, bow, bow. I don't know. What Snap you, it you, a bass. You've got, got a bass clef on your hand, that's rad. Next up, Martin, we've got Otis Spunk Knot. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Rainbow Nut. <laughs> Spunk Meyer. Came from a unicorn. Ah, uh, and of course, here it is. Bank of the week. This Bank week is week. going to... Pea Stick. Well done. <laughs> for what it is. You can send in your thanks That's awesome. to uh, facebook.com forward slash banking daily. Pea Stick, well done. We've never seen that before. No, that's We're good. starting to see a bit of man pulp, a little bit of nut butter, but Pea Stick, that's Particularly fantastic. Particularly when you see, when those are everywhere and no one's thought to do it yet, that's, that's clever. And I also, again, there's two hands on the product. Who's taking the photo? Oh, no one knows. It's the magic of banking. Martin, let's just kick it right into my town. Of course, banking's the delightful art of taking a photo of your loins when you're holding a product there to recontextualize the name of it. It's a very, very rude, and I'm sure our parents are heaps proud of us for coming up with this. This has been getting some newspaper coverage, Martin. Yeah, it has. People have been talking about it. It's in the Urban Dictionary. Someone did the urban thing on it. The Urban Dictionary? Yes, you can look is for, that, is that the can dictionary look for banking of, on the Internet Dictionary and it's a legit Is that the thing dictionary now. of the stuff that you can sprinkle on your food to make it taste better? Ah, uh, the Keith. The what? The Keith Dictionary? Keith. No, Keith. It's the Keith Dictionary. What's the Keith Dictionary? The Keith Urban. All right, sorry, don't mind Oh, me. wow. Oh, that's the right. worst. Here it is. That is the okay. worst. Kicking into it, we've got cream boom, 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 bang, boom, cream boom, nut. Boom, well boom, done. Boom, boom, Good job. We're just going to move through a mutton. Mutton, this is the pull and play. Fantastic. What do you reckon that does? Uh, you eat it. All right, next up, we've just got, that's, well done. Is that a, is that a sheet yeah. No, that's, that's the earmuffs and the ear is being covered and that's just, you left it there. Well played. All right, this does. <laughs> Well done. That's good. That's a chopped finger too. That's really small, small soft tissue. Well done. <laughs> raw cock. Oh nut. Oh, it's, it's a... Well done. Well, you could get raw cock or raw nut from that, couldn't you? You could. You could Coconut that, and mango, they're just, just so versatile. <laughs> I'm so hungry. That's some throat coat, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What does what it is... do? Who are you? Oh Why did you make it? I what? want some. Send us some. Who is it? Find out who it is. Spam their wall. We want some throat coat. Do, do you want some? No. Yeah, I do. Next. Throat coat. There it is. Cro Man, that's some butt flavour. <laughs> well done. I was looking at it going, what's cro croco? That's butt flavour. Martin, that's thick and fast, but nice. it's thin. What? That's funny. Well done on He's that. He's married. He's that's right. a good one. Good job. 
All right, <laughs> extra deep. That sounds good. That sounds like a chip. Is that a chip? I don't know, I hope it is. Looks delicious. I would, I would eat that. Lots of chips in America are red, aren't they? Like that, that yeah. weird orange fake cheese flavor. Paprika-y, paprika-y cheese. Paprika -y, paprika -y cheese good. <laughs> Whoa. Getting good creative this week. <laughs> Glass sword. What's that say? That's so small I can't even read it. Martin, that one there does. <laughs> what does it say? It doesn't say anything that's good. It's okay. just too rude. Look at that, it's sausage and muff! Sausage and muff. Well done! Well done! That's great. How's that not thank of the from, week? From Mackie D's, no less. Well done, sausage and muff. Mackie D's sausage and muff. Martin, that's the cock mix. Well done. There it is. Some Love a good like. cocktail mix. So, <laughs> so usable. Martin, that's Kickapoo. Excellent. Uh, Kickapoo uh, does appear to be uh, the, the original drink. Kikaroo Joy Juice recipe. Excellent. I'd be interested in having a wrap of my laughing gear around that. Some joy juice. Martin, that's a quality butt bucket. <laughs> Excellent. Don't even know what that's meant to be. Butt bucket. Here we go, Martin. It's for Mike. ciggies. It's for What's dairies, this one? Mate. It's for cancer sticks. This one here is uh, Taste of the Good Nut. Taste of the Good Nut. It's a lot of fingering technique. Do you like peanut there. butter, mate? No. No? Or you like Vegemite? Marmite. Prefer, prefer Promite. Marmite. No, no, no. Who likes no. Promite? No one. Boom. No. Amazing. Next. Love Promite. Whoa. Martin, this one. Well done. Okay. It is what it is. And Martin, just hold it. Hold your farm. Calm the farm. It's Fank of the Week. Fank of the Week. By the way, I, again, Big Cock Ranch. I would slap my laughing gear around that hard. That looks delicious. Oh, that's the drum, drum roll. roll. Sorry. Oh, Here we go, week. everyone. And Fank of the Week goes to... Boom. Here it is. Everybody, right here, you've got the wood, wood for good wood squirt. squirt. Well done, Fankers. Well done. Doing a great job. Martin, how can people send in these things? Send your thanks in to the Thanking Facebook page, which is facebook.com thanking daily. Is that what it's called? Let's go with that, Martin. Something like that. You'll find it. Uh, type in thanking, send your thanks. Take your thank photos. You may use the fingering or the thumbing technique. Uh, extra points for double thanks, triple thanks, she thanks. Were your thanks used? Let us know all about it. We love to hear from you. Thanking is a delightful art of recontextualizing an object by holding it down in your crotch. Extra points for double thanks, triple thanks. You can use a thumbing technique where you cover up parts of the title. Extra points for creativity. Extra points for doing it in public. Extra points if you can somehow manage to do a thank without even holding the camera yourself. Amazing. And of course, you can send your thanking photos uh, to our Facebook page, which is facebooks.com forward slash thanking daily. Let's kick into it, mate. We got the ram plug. Nice. They're super handy, those things. Really we've really rammed handy. a number of them, haven't we, we in have, the past? Yeah. They're actually really yep. good. Man, we've got the man yogurt here. Straight up, just... What oh, is that? Mango. Oh, it is, Always it's mango. With the mango. See, I was wondering what man yogurt was, but yep. of course it's not actually man yogurt. Martin, get naked. Nice. That looks delicious. That's like a dainty, delicious chocolate. Dry nuts. It's... Well Everyone's done. probably been there at some stage. Martin, there's some arse polish. What? Um, yep, there it is. I, I think we've got to stop like saying what it was before because I think it takes away the Does intensity. It? Like oh, when okay. you go, arse oh, polish, no. I just like figuring it. It's like I the can't magician revealing the doodle in the hat. Sometimes I can't figure out what it actually was before oh, right. it was thanked. Oh, look at this. Oh, now, th this, this is, is th this is just absolute rubbish. Fanked is not an acceptable Wait, word. This, this is not true. It's in the Urban Dictionary. Does that mean that arf is an acceptable word? Well, someone's written arf and got 10 points. Isn't oh, arf what it's... Is, are they saying that's like the noise a dog makes? Or are they going to try and tell me that arf is a different kind of word? It probably is a word, but I've never used it for anything except the noise a dog makes. But what's disappointing about that is that, uh, like, when does it become common vernacular? There's 15 or 20,000 thankers out there. There's people using that word on a very There's people basis. using it, and it's in the Urban Dictionary, so it must be real. Yeah, like you're out at the shops, what are you doing? Thanking. What'd you do? I just thanked. Yeah, except there's that time we asked that guy that, and he was like, I'm wanking. And he was like, oh, over was in awkward. the meat section. Anyway, so um, extra long, full of juice. Excellent. Well, <laughs> well played. What's that one, mate? Uh, that's a butt plug. <laughs> what shop's he in? He's in the hardware store. Isn't he? Mine bolts. No balls. <laughs> <laughs> Limited edition. I'd like to eat that. That looks like that a looks, delicious, actually looks kind of delicious fun. thing. Martin, we've got some fat. That <laughs> <laughs> would. Well done. Well done. Cool. Martin, here's a cock full of nuts. How? What? What is this faking configuration? Is that? Because um, who's taking the photo? There's two hands in there. The guy in the white shoes is. Um, right. White shoes. Special. 
Martin, we've got a blazing bush. No, it's a wild man's blazing bush. That's a thing, apparently. Everyone's been there too. Have they? I don't know. Okay. All right, we got the butt ring. Good job. <laughs> oh, I'd eat one of those. I'd get into it. Martin, we've got the pumper. Excellent. Which is just, what is that thing, do you reckon? Bike pump. You reckon? No, I have no it's a idea. Bit too small. Uh, he's got a lot of keys, though, to that man, doesn't he? He does. And they appear to be on a bottle opener. And on a belt. Uh, a lot of access to a lot of places. Martin, here's a soft muff cookie. Triple chocolate. I would smash one of those. Oh, I'd eat one of them, yeah. Delicious. That looks good. Martin, next up we've got the oh. um, the garlic mayo. <laughs> look, at this, look at the picture. Um, um, oh, that's sorry. That's what it's. We're proud of our squirt. It's that. It's that company again. We saw one of them a couple of weeks ago. Their tagline is "We're proud of our squirt," and that's what they're like. That's how they've designed their. It doesn't look label. appetizing, does it? Not really. really. It does it say it's smooth and creamy. Imagine, though. would you? How much would someone have to pay for you to eat that for breakfast, just to scull the whole bottle? Uh, Could you do it? Would you do it? I don't know, man. I, I don't know. What does this one say? Oh, I'm not even reading that. <laughs> well done. <laughs> wow. Seriously. Um, I love head. Good job. Excellent. I don't even know what that is. Hairdressing um, stuff, for is sure. It? Uh, no, I have no and, idea. Um, and we're finishing off, of course, this week with our fank of the week, which is the happy end. Good job. We'd love to see your thanking photos. Uh, send them in, of course, to our thanking Facebook page, which is faceballs.com forward slash Banking daily. Of course, banking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name by taking a photo of it down near your crotch. And this week, because we're just going hectic, Martin. We're smashing through them. Yes, yep. but prepare the special music. We've got a 30 fank special. What? 30 of them. 30 thanks. Smash Let's just get through. Here we go, everyone. Them. Bang. Female thank. Well done. Red box. Good job. Good job. Martin, we've got a pecker. Pecker. That's a funny word. <laughs> well Sweet done. your day. Someone's car alarm. Martin, here we go. We've got frosted nut holes. Excellent. What is that, a nut hole? That's when you sit in the snow for too long and your nuts and that's all you really? need to Really? Okay. Nut hole. Good. There's a sword in that picture. Martin, next up, we've got the naked nut delight. Excellent. Nuts are so versatile. So they're, versatile. And they're everywhere. So many people have them. Like, really? Like minority Martin, of the world. Martin, that's a cock them. hoop. <laughs> Fantastic. I like that. Hole in one. Good. Swish. Boom, next up we've got the urge sauce. <laughs> oh, look at the picture. <laughs> oh my god, it's crucial apparently. And, and, and he's, he, he's got some blisters yep. on his right hand. Alright, uh, Martin, this is ice cream. <laughs> well done. Good job. Gee, extra extra did, points for thanking stuff you see every day that no one doesn't. Uh, well, no one's of. thought of that. Exactly. Which, which is why it's been included. Well done, creamy pump. Excellent. Pumpkin. <laughs> Never... Pumpkin hasn't been used yet. It's well an under, underutilized thing. Creamy pump, the classic creamy pump. <laughs> oh god. That's the sticky starfish. It's starfish tumble and fun, mate. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bean feast. That's so <laughs> gross. That's just... now, this has been included not for its cleverness, but mainly just because, oh, seriously. It makes me feel a bit yuck. What the hell is it? it? Makes me feel a bit yuck. I don't, I don't understand. Know. Martin, there you go. <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> That's what's going on inside the stagecoach. What's next? All right, we've got <laughs> Ask Master Fishing. Good job. And only 75, what are they called? Pence. What's what's a pound? Pence. A hundred, is it 75 pence. Pence? pence? That's, That's funny. cheap. PlayStation 2. You're retro Recycling has. the bass. Martin, get more. Now, this is clever because look what's going on. Can you see what's happening here? Get more D. Yeah, but. Flora, flowery, flowery fan. He's getting flowers. To get to more get D. More. That, that should be fank. somewhere near Fank of the Week. Are we halfway yet? Uh, not even halfway. Don't know, mate. Mate, here we go. Four this is a wildly, uh, tasty, uh, wildly tasty fat balls. Excellent, with a bird on there. Fat balls just, Pecker, just got. Amazing. Martin, here we go. Cock sauce, well straight up. Keeping sauce. it real, keeping fanking Good. for, you Love know, it. keeping it legit for the, the kids. Absolutely. <laughs> well done. That's great. Yeah. See, it doesn't have to be rude. No. But it's better if it is. Uh, all right, Martin, we got shortwood. You do what you can with what you got. Martin, freeze your nuts off. Well done. Is that a thing? Freeze spray, yeah. It yep. makes the metal Because when things freeze, they go, when well, on, it's hot when they go, no. Hot yeah, hot makes them expand, freeze makes them shrink, so you use heat and cold to loosen, yeah. loosen the nuts. Do you think, mate, that's an oversized load. Wow. You, you can't even out. fit in the picture. You've got to tie it down. Good job. You get yourself in trouble. Mr. Big. Yep. Now, I put that in there because I like to wrap my teeth around that. Yes. Yeah, so I've chopped the head right that off. Looks that looks like thing. it's Look from how New delicious Zealand. it is. New Zealand snacks, they're good. Martin, triple size balls. Excellent. Probably need some attention. Yeah. All right, we're nearly there, mate. We're counting down. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Pen, That's... Pen, pen genu, papriku, salmon, salmon. Some kind of delicious thing. Martin, here Dippity it is. Dippity-doo. 
What, what is that? Do? What is that? I, I don't know what Dippity Doo is, but well we're done. getting close near the end, Martin. Martin, this is good. Free hanging. Yeah. He's wearing boxes. Well done. No one is required. That's like hardware shop action or something. Well done. Look at his look at his gap down there. Yes. Uh, all right. <laughs> Straight, Straight up. up. Just there it is. It is Straight what up. it is. Straight there up. is no Chicken second layer to the onion. Chicken sauce. Uh, what? It's sauce from a chicken, they get a chicken and they put in a sauce and it's cock sauce. Really? Yeah, that's how they get the sauce, from the cock. Okay, great. Uh, Megabone, beef, he's already removed his bone from the packet. Excellent. Just left the rest there. Mate, we've got three left. Three. Here we go, we're counting down. These are top three banks of the week. Coming in at number three, we've got Miracle Moist Poo. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Number two. Aussie as well. Number two, we've got <laughs> Stiff and Quick. Because... Just because. Sure. And here it is, Bank of the Week, the most ridiculous recontextualized product name that's been photographed near someone's crotch this week is Meatballs in Sex Gravy. Well done. <laughs> Good job. Of course, you can share your thanking photos on our thanking Facebook page, which is faceballs.com forward slash thanking daily. Some of them are too rude to share, so you'll just have to check them out. Go to the Facebook page for thanking, click on visit a post, and you can thank yourself into oblivion. Thank yourself, silly. 